I'm just kidding. Hi. Hello. How's it going? Happy Wednesday, Lori. Happy Wednesday. And winter solstice is today. This is like the like shortest day of the year or whatever, right? Fun. The days are short enough. The days are short enough. But how are you today? How's it going? I look like Isabel. Oh, Brady, thank you. Lori, thank you. What a compliment. I like this hairstyle a lot. It makes me feel very like, like 90s mom as well. We've got our little, can't really see it. No, it's my little octopus dress. Sunset is at 445. No. Uh, yeah, the days are the days are short enough, but that's fine. I can deal with it. Even shorter for one day. Um, because tomorrow, guys, it's gonna be cold. Texas is cold tomorrow. Like it's gonna be very very cold. Roxy and Michelle. Romy. It's Romy, actually. Um, but best compliment ever. I freaking love them. Romeo and Michelle's high school reunion. I love that movie so much. So much. So up in North Texas today, I don't think that we're gonna get snow um or tomorrow. Um, it's just gonna be cold. So tomorrow's weather. A low of 11 degrees and a high of 44. Oh my God. Our next Halloween costume can be Romy and Michelle. I love it. I love it. Yeah, tomorrow, guys, it's going to be 11 degrees. But it will feel like, get this, negative seven. Guys, it's going to, like, I'm looking, it's going to feel like negative seven. Oh. Oh, that's going to be so fun. It's going to be so much fun. I'm not pumped. I'm not. I know, Lori. Like, this is... It's going to be really freaking cold. Um, what's it like on the uh, on the West Coast? Do I have it on my phone? Let me see. Wow. Y'all have a, a low of 47. Lucky. Lucky, lucky. Everyone on the West Coast is going to be just fine while us Texans are going to be crying. Walking around our house in beanies and sweaters crying. Not really. That's what heaters are for, right? But it is going to be very cold. I'm not excited to take the dogs out. Um, even though we live somewhere where we have a yard now. Hold on. Even though we live somewhere with a yard, our dogs still won't like do their business unless we're outside um uh, one of my dogs will charlie will right we've got douglas and charlie charlie will douglas gets distracted he likes to chase mice that he thinks are there because he did find one story for another day um but so tomorrow like they can either i don't know guys they can do their business or they can just not because i'm not standing in negative seven degree weather. They do need an audience for poops. They do. I mean, it's, I can't blame them too much, right? For living in a duplex for like, I think like, oh my God, how long was it? Three or four years? Or was it five? But we took them out three times four times a day every single day they've always had an audience you know what i mean and now they're just like what i'm just supposed to go outside and, and do it no one's gonna see no one's gonna see my handiwork bullshit bullshit yes uh, Lori. please you're fine please cuss i'm just kidding <laughs> yes you can say whatever you want howdy zane hello hi Hey, howdy. 
<laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> Hi besties. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Please feel free. Please feel free. My goal is to, you know, is not to like be a kid-friendly streamer here. Uh, it's in my rules, so please feel comfortable. We're hanging out. I don't mind at all. Truly. Truly, truly. I hope everyone had a good Tuesday. Hope it went well. What did I do yesterday? Um, I took a really long nap. I had a dream that I couldn't see out of my right eye, and that was slightly terrifying. Uh, it was a good nap, but not the highlight of my day for sure. Um, I bit off my nails. I zoned out and just boop, gone. Don't know what happened there. What else did I do yesterday? I'm trying to remember. I know Monday we went to the city. Got our city groceries. Took a little trip. Drive like 30 minutes just to go to Whole Foods. It was totally worth it though. I got so many goodies. It was awesome. I was specifically there for um, a gift for someone for Christmas whom I shall not say just in case, but went specifically for a gift, got some goodies. It was really fun. Oh my God. I just love Whole Foods. I love Whole Foods. Something also about a Whole Foods in a small town, guys. So being from Austin, everything is either bougie or just super hipster, super intimidating. This Whole Foods wasn't in the middle of nowhere. Don't get me wrong, but it was very like, I don't know, normal. It's very normal. It's kind of nice. I was like, I don't feel, I don't feel wrong being here. It's okay that I'm not a vegan. It's okay. It's all right. Yes, a low key Whole Foods. It was, it was cool. It was really nice. I really enjoyed it. Um, I went around, around Target for like an hour. Didn't get anything. But, you know, if I'm going to the city, I have to. I have to. But yesterday, overall, Tuesday was super, super low-key, super chill. Um, like I said, I napped. We watched some drag race. <sighs> what else did I do? I showered. Yay for me. <laughs> yes, no non-vegan shaming. Perks of not being in Austin. I'm just kidding. It's not like everyone in, you know, in Austin is like, fuck you for not being vegan. But sometimes I just feel that way. Like, I like to eat chips and I like to eat bacon and cake, you know? I do. Either way. No more non-vegan or vegan shaming. Because, I mean, do what you want, you know? It does feel like it, though, Lori. It does sometimes. I don't know. I don't know. But I hope everyone's having a chill day. So, excuse me, for today, we're going to do some more building on my island. Came up with a little bit of a catchier title today for Themes One Island, just to describe what we're really doing. Um, so we're back to work on our city core island. Um, we have not streamed this since last Wednesday. Uh, and I will admit I did a lot of things off stream. I apologize. I'm so sorry. I couldn't help myself. Okay. Last stream, you know, when we started designing, I was like, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what's going on. I don't know what to do. Right. And then I was like, ah, I'll just plan a little bit and I'll like place some items and then I'll take them down and just like do it again and just mess around, see what I like. Um, and then I ended up just doing a, a fuck ton of stuff. OK, I laid some paths. I did a little bit of terraforming. I don't have any items down right now, um, but I changed a lot of stuff that you guys will see. So we're going to be doing that. Um, and I'm really excited. I really hope that we can finish our city core section of Moonbeam by the end of December. But to do so, either I'm going to be designing off stream or or I stream more. I'm not sure. 
I'm not too sure. I'd like to keep Fridays as our variety day just for fun, right? And then Monday uh, next week, we're going to tour more islands from my favorite creators because we didn't get to finish them all. Um, but maybe after that, Mondays can also be building day. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, a couple other updates when we are building. I will have music in the background this time. Um, so if at any point it gets too loud, just let me know, okay? If anyone's watching this stream in the future, uh, you can tell me in the future. I'll fix it for next time. And why aren't you here live? I'm <laughs> just kidding. Um, let's switch over, okay? So, yeah, if the audio is too loud, just let me know. You should still be able to hear me because, like, this mic is impressive. It should pick up everything. I want to get it to a more comfortable spot. That's the only thing. I can't seem to get it comfortable. And I don't need to be right up against it, but I feel the need to, like, keep leaning down. So let's let's try a couple things. This could work. Okay. I can do this. Stop fidgeting. Stop messing around, Megan. Get to it. Also, I should be able to hear my sound alerts this time. So when we get a follower, we'll have a fun little alert and I can hear it too. So, let's get into it, shall we? I posed for y'all. Okay. First on the agenda, though, I have to change. I was wearing this outfit last time. Can't repeat an outfit. That's outrageous. That's ridiculous. That's not allowed. And I should be embarrassed that I'm even in the outfit still. Like, what are you doing? What, why are you, why are you like this? Get on it. Oh my God. <laughs> so this uh, design on the wall, I had as like a blank design in my custom designs and I forgot to save that and I saved something over it. So whoops. Do I even own other clothes? Yes, and I do. Hold on. Just hold on. I do. <laughs> I do, trust me. I own a lot, a lot. But since we're building today, we're gonna go with a comfy and like a realistic vibe, okay? Like what would I actually be wearing while building, okay? I think we're gonna go with this like cute little emo shirt. Let's be an emo girl today. Let's be an emo girl. There we go, done. Done. No. Mm, we could go with some cool embellished pants. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We can do ripped jeans. I like that. I own the most clothes. Kind of I do. Kind of I do. Uh, it's a problem and I'm okay with it. I am completely okay with it. Gotta get that bandage or we could do a leaf. I like the bandage. I don't know what it is. Makes me like live my e-girl like fantasy. Um, Cause I don't really want to look like that in real life, but why can't she? Why can't she? None of the glasses are working for me though. This is the one thing I'm lacking on. Like, yes, as Zane said, I have the most clothes, duh. But this is like not good. I don't have anything to choose from. We're just not gonna do any of them. Stripey socks, stripey socks. I do have a lot of shoes though. So we could go for like a Converse vibe or we could do our Vans. I don't know, I don't know. Or some cute shoes. Nah, it kind of throws it off. I want like a monochrome look today. I think we'll go like the converse handlebar mustache. Should we do it? Cute. Cute. Kind of rock it. Kind of rock it. Could be a duck as well. Both of them. A vibe. We'll save that for another time, right? Am I right? <laughs> I think we'll stick with the bandage. I like the Converse feel today. Bulky backpack is a no for me. 
don't want the sea lion either. I feel like a cool like messenger bag. I don't hate it. Or ooh, uh, ooh, let's feel real bougie. Okay, okay. I kind of like that. Zane, you're totally right. It does blend, and I love it. Wouldn't it be even better if you didn't see the little swirls and it like literally just just one piece like that? <laughs> <laughs> Looks a lot better on her than me, but I don't hate it. I don't hate it. She's cute. She's cute. But this is the vibe, okay? We're an emo girl. We have feelings. We put band-aids where they don't belong and for no reason. I like it. I like it. This is a cute outfit. This room is fucked up, but I will fix it. I downloaded some extra codes as well that we're going to try out see if any of them work see if we like any of them um because i'm just i'm very indecisive whether it's getting dressed laying paths designing a house designing an island this entire game it just makes me feel like i can't make any decisions in life like i just can't make any of them at all i don't know what it is outside of the game i'm a little bit better I don't know. Let me show you guys what I changed, okay? So here's our entrance. Looks a lot different than last Wednesday. Over here, we had a big ass parking lot. It was huge and I started to hate it. A little bit out of nowhere, but I was just like, I don't like it um, and it's upsetting me. So I was like, we're gonna change that right now. So that was one of the first things I decided I didn't like. Um, hey Celia, uh, thank you for being in my way as I'm trying to talk. So we're actually gonna do a mini parking lot. We might only have like one car and a like motorbike here. Or what the, What are they called? It's a Vespa, but I don't remember what they're called in the game. I don't think I have them in my pocket right now. Oh, it's the scooter. So we might just have a car and a scooter here, make it a bit smaller. We'll still have it fenced off, um, but it won't take like 20 fences like our last design did. So that changed. Also, you can see I terraformed a lot. So all the way down here, we have our road. We have a double sidewalk and terraforming in the back as well. This might come down today. We'll see. I had stairs here and then I didn't like them. Um, so my idea for this, okay, is either a kind of a city vibe like walkway with like lots of atms um different stalls and things like that um and i was thinking we might do a fake bridge like a faux bridge that actually cuts this off right so it would be terraformed and we couldn't walk past it but up on top of it would be a bridge so i'm not too sure yet but i do know that for these villagers, Vladimir and Fuchsia, right? They're going on this left section. For Vladimir and Fuchsia, I would like one of them to be over here and one of them to be over here. So I think if we connect them, it might be kind of nice, but we don't necessarily have to. Like I can just put stairs right here and stairs right here. I'm not sure. We're just going to, like, probably try both things and mess from there. So, let's see what Kick has. Not Kick, Kicks. My bad. My bad. Oh, we paused that. Okay. There we go. Kicks, what do you have for us today? slip on school shoes i'm good um i don't love any of the bags i already have the bear backpack so i don't need it although i do love it i don't really want the knee braces i don't love sequin leggings I, everything is a miss everything is a miss for me today wow wow so as you can see i also gathered um gathered placed I placed the road all the way around resident services. All the way around. Boom. 
okay this section is empty right now but what we're gonna do is make this like the exit for a dream address so that way when someone comes like in visits they wake up and they come through here and it's like boom city okay boom right Lori, that bear backpack is so cute. I agree. I have a couple of them in like different colors. I freaking love them. I love them. Uh, how long did the road take me? Uh, maybe like 20 minutes. Maybe like 20 minutes. Once I get in the zone of like laying the path, it's not so bad. The only issue is that the path was up here when I first did it. And then I was like, no, I want to ter terraform right here. And so then I had to bring it all the way down. And it took that, that part took a while. That part took a while. I zoned out one day for like a few hours and, and planned a bunch of the island um, and just like ha different ideas. And so that part took a long time. Um, but it was really fun to do. The terraforming takes way longer than placing codes. So that part was like pff, rough. That part was rough. Um, but I find that like I get a lot more ideas when I'm just like sitting on the couch watching TV and like trying different things. And so I just like accidentally did a little bit too much. I wanted to save more of it for stream. Um, but I was like, ah, oh, fuck it. We're just going to like we're just going to start. OK, um, so we have some different sidewalks to try out that I want to use in this area, this this big empty area so i'm gonna see what we can do let's see what we can do did anyone see kicks do that sick little coin flip in the background that was cool i didn't know he did that um so i have two different ones um this first one is a pink road and then we can also try this weird like it's supposed to be like a metal roof but i was thinking it could work for the for the like entrance part I'm not sure, but let me like lay some of this pink one down because this would really go with our theme. First off, it's cute and it should be the same size. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to have to do a bunch of them to see if I like it. Let me know what you think. I, I don't know. I'm like... Do I like it? Do I like it? I also don't know if it will really match our road lines, which it kind of has to. Because if we do them, do one of them right here, like, does it match? Hmm. Hmm. Not a ton, but we would also kind of cover up a lot of this with items so yeah girl just doesn't i don't know i don't think it looks as realistic as the other sidewalk maybe we can look at the creator of these designs and see if they have any more like any i just want something different to separate it from the regular sidewalk so let me pull up the code and like see what we can try out because I would like it to be cohesive, just a little bit different, a little bit different. So let me get that code, code pulled up, code, kid. Let's see. Thank God I have all of these saved already because um, this would be such a pain to find. Okay. Yeah, let's let's see if they have anything that matches. Oh. Zero eight. Okay. Let's try it out. Okay, so they have more like designs. We have the flower one. We could also get the broken one won't work for like the entire thing though this one with leaves this one looks similar i don't know let me try this one out like i'll have to actually test it because i'm not sure 
if that one would really work for us. Let's put it here. That way we don't have to do any work and it's just boom there. So we can try all these out and just do it that way. <laughs> Pro tip. Pro tip, guys. Don't kick it all up. Just replace the code. Just replace it. Oh. Oh. I. I kind of like it. It matches the road, but still looks like a sidewalk. And it just creates a little bit more depth because it's just not like the same sidewalk the whole way, which I did try. I spent like 30 minutes laying down this entire area full of the sidewalk path. I just didn't like it. So I'm kind of liking this one a little bit more. A little bit. This one's cool. I think this is it. Okay, that was easy. That was easy. So now we just have to lay the whole thing. All right. I like that a lot. Cool. No, okay. I have a lot of ideas for this area that I sort of basically like... I placed a lot of them and then I took like a photo so we might keep it pretty similar to the photo that I like tested out. But we might change it up because previously i don't know the items i was using they were okay but i want more color okay this is a pink city core island we need more pink so i'll show you guys the photo i took of what i was thinking of doing with this section but i also made it larger than my initial plan so i'll see how that turns out but i'll show you guys the photo after we lay all these paths which I'm lying when I said it took 30 minutes before because like, no, but I was being really slow with it. Whereas right now I'm like, let's go. Um, so this isn't so bad, honestly. I don't know how people ever design an island without using the um, like island designer. People will lay past by going in here. I would go nuts. I would go nuts. I lay way too many custom designs down that I just can't, I can't make it work at all. I cannot. I cannot. So, this is much easier, much quicker. I really like how this one looks. This looks way better than the pink sidewalk. Like, 100% better. Yay. I really wanted a pink one. But it just didn't look realistic. It did not. It didn't work. Celia getting in kicks way. That was so rude. Did you guys see that? She's my favorite villager, but sometimes I'm like, girl. <laughs> okay. Boom. There's the path. So anyone that visits in a dream address, you'll wake up and then be like, ooh, what's this? And then boom, it's like a whole like kind of like sitting area slash like airport but not really i think it's going to turn out really cool i'll show you guys my initial design okay these are from the photos that we took from touring islands which was so fun okay so this is my first thought i was gonna use like a bunch of the retro transportation uh stops and then i was like ew ugly and then we just had fences which i do still really like because they're very pink right and then we had that tree that i can't remember the name of what is it i don't know i'll find out when i get it but this idea i really like the section was a lot smaller when I was planning this out. So we're going to have to use a lot more items than just like two benches and a tree. But I think that this could really work. I think it could work. We also, uh, so this was what our parking lot looked like before. Way too big. So we're going to make it a lot smaller and just have the cars placed like vertically. And I was messing around with this idea next to the parking lot. 
now that we won't have this, I can use this by resident services. So this is kind of my idea for resident services, still the fencing, still the vending machine, storage, whatever, just like a sitting area. I think it'll work. See you. Okay. Let's go back in and let's, let's put some stuff down. Let's try it out. Did I leave my storage shed out here? Of course not. Of course not. Is it in my pockets? Possibly. We might have to go back to the house. Mm, yeah. Whoops. It's got to be in the pockets. Like, did I overlook it? Did I overlook it? Why do I have so many Christmas items? Don't ask. I was making a TikTok. Well, I was making a reel. But Patty just sitting in the flowers with a lollipop. Not a good idea. There's bees, girl. Probably not in the winter, but. I, for one, am very paranoid eating candy outside. I don't want to attract anything. I'm just paranoid about bugs in general, so don't mind me. Patty, you do you. It's like my biggest fear about having children is like I'm going to pass my fears on to them and I don't want to do that. I don't. Okay, um, let's, we'll carry around that one. That's the one we had before. Okay. This is why the pipe is so amazing. Just go right back. If you don't have this on your Animal Crossing Island, what are you doing? Literally. I always carry around a pipe. I leave one at my house. So there's always a pipe outside of my house. I carry around a pipe. I carry around a storage shed. And then when I'm flattening or cleaning or changing, I'll carry around a trash can specifically for like flowers and trees that I just don't want. At some point, by the way, we're really going to need some like actual greenery in here. I don't care if it's like bushes or like flowers, but I need to stock up on some stuff and try to like make it not so flat and like just like dead you know what i mean because once this island is like in the summertime it's gonna really need those in order to like look good i think okay let's get some stuff let's get some stuff you guys thought i had the most clothes i have the most items probably not but i do have how many yeah <laughs> 3400 3400 megan do you really need that I don't, but I just like stock up a little too much. Okay, our favorite benches, let's go. We'll get a couple of these. We might use them. Might. Kind of undecided. I don't want anything here. No, no, no. We could try these for sure. Uh, let's get a few of the fences with designs and then more just regular pink ones. A humble 3,400 items. Yes, Lori, I like to be, um, I'm really a minimalist. Um, so I don't like to have too much, you know, just a few, just a few things. <laughs> zooms in on the 3400 <laughs> yeah it's a little too much okay what's this freaking tree called evergreen ash i probably should have customized it so it wasn't brown brick hmm we can change that okay do we want a flower bed possibly we'll take that we're just going shopping we're just going shopping guys Take these. I don't know what they're for, but we'll take them. Gotta have these. Gotta have our drink machine and our snack machine. Another drink, sure. An ABD. Absolutely. What else? What else? Get a little bike. We'll get this out for our 
Parking lot. Scaffolding, sure. I'm just going shopping, guys. Like, I don't know. I don't know what I'll need. I don't know what I'll want. We're just going to place some shit down and hope it doesn't suck. That's how I design. Anyone want a wheat field? I have a lot. Okay, we'll get our miscellaneous stuff after because I think our pockets are, yeah, they're close to full. Uh, I'll get a couple. I can't leave anything blank. Like, I may be a minimalist, but not really at all. Even a smidge. Even a smidge. <laughs> I'm just not. Well, let's get some cords. That's fun. I think we'll get some books to put on something. Definitely these are my like favorite. What else? What else? We might have to decide after we put our things down. Let's get a skateboard for sure. Okay, let's put things down and let's see how we're looking. We'll start with our fences because I want to make sure that those work in this space well. Looking good, looking cute. I just love this color pink. I love this color pink. In real life, guys, I don't have like anything pink. Like, well, that's a lie. That's a, that's a straight up lie. Uh, I have sound panels that are right in front of me that are super pink, um, but I don't wear that many like pink clothes. I have a lot of pink earrings, um, but I wanted this island to just be like, holy shit, that's a lot of pink, you know? Because why not? I think we'll make those overlap. That's fine. Oh, I can't do this, though. That's gross. Those are all the pattern ones. Whoops. And no. Okay. Break it up a little bit. So... Put some more here. I think this is working, even though this is a bigger area than I had planned. I think it works. I think it's nice. What do you guys think in the uh, of the music in the background? Is it too quiet? Is it like pure shit? Do we like having it? Do we dislike it? I was thinking it'd be kind of fun to have it just so that if I like accidentally stop talking or if I'm like zoned out for like no reason, um, that it wasn't completely silent, <laughs> you know? Ooh, uh, issue. Do I push those down? Hmm. I think I will have to. Let's push them down. I didn't realize I left a space on the other one, so that kind of sucks. Interesting. Why is nothing lining up perfectly how I want it the first time? It's a shame. It's okay, the gap at the front is not that bad, I think. So if we put one here, like, it's okay. It's okay. Like, we'll live. Okay, I'm liking that a lot. It needs at least like one or two more. And we're out of them, so let's get more. Whoops. We should just like leave this out. <laughs> I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep opening it. Okay, fence. Yes. I will take one of these and just a few more of these. I kind of want this one to be like a backwards sign on it. Uh, like, should be that. Yeah. So we can't see the design, but there is something on it. I kind of like that. That is perfect. Okay. I like this one a lot. I like it. Again, friend of a friend. Hi, I welcome in. Vile of T, hello. Hi, how's it going? 
welcome to the moon beam crew welcome to the crew welcome in how's it going how are you today how'd you find the stream let me move that over this is looking solid you're joining in at a pretty good time we're like actually doing things that don't suck on this island it's only our second stream decorating this but i think we're getting somewhere guys i think we're getting somewhere already hi from your recommended channels that's cool that's cool what the heck that's so exciting not me like showing up somewhere thank you for joining thank you for joining so we're doing city core first we're doing city core first up in the top left of moonbeam we're going to be doing farm core so as a recap vladimir and fuchsia will be on the bottom left we're doing city core there i agree file of tea that pink fence is my favorite item so far we're actually basing a lot of things around that item so the top left we're gonna have poppy and we're gonna have pecan we're gonna do farm core for them um and the bottom right we're gonna have celia drago and henry and a jungle core section and then teddy and Bo will be on the top right in a undisclosed theme because they haven't actually decided haven't actually decided it's either going to be like a cottage core or fairy core possibly but we're probably going to finish all the other sections and then decide what we're actually going to do um because i'm like very indecisive with themes and so i just don't i don't know it could be so many different things that i'm just like i'm paralyzed I'm paralyzed will this go one further yes oh thank god oh thank god but I'm really most excited right now, I think, about this theme. City Core is definitely one of my favorites. You're unsure what your theme is, rural City Core. That's fun. Um, for a long time, uh, I've I've done a lot of different themes, but I never really stuck or like stuck to one, if that makes sense like one section of the island would be like you know very city core the other one was like a forest like i don't know i just couldn't really stick to one and that's also what inspired this island i was like i don't want to just do you know like farm core throughout i'll get too bored you know i have to switch it up a little bit because exactly jumbling a bunch of themes together is fun i absolutely agree um, and there's no reason to just stick to one thing, like, at all. At all. Ooh, we might have to recolor this one. I don't like that. We might make that, like, a green. I don't know. I love that item, but the colors just don't work for me. The colors just, like, don't really fit the theme I'm trying to go for. I don't know. I don't know. People that stick to a single theme are stronger than you. Facts. I'm like, how do you do this? Especially when I tour an island and it's like so consistently like, for example, it's so consistently city core, like the entire thing. I'm like, that is straight up commitment. And also, how do you like, how do you get that many items to make it that consistent? Like that is so much work. That is so much work. You would have to have like 50,000 benches, okay, just to get it to be consistent. And I, I can't be bothered. I can't. Oh my God, this looks so cute. Look how pink this is. Not the map, not the map. I wanted to open up the camera and get like a angled view. Cute together. Need to put something there, but that's super cute together. I like this. I'm digging the pink. I'm digging the pink. If only I had a modded switch and I could make resident services pink. That would truly, truly complete this, I feel like. Mm, I don't know. Let me put some things on top of here, at least. How do they only stick to a select few villagers, too? Right? Right? This was the best part of doing an island with four different themes. So they get to have so many different kinds of villagers. Like, where else... 
Where else can you have Drago and like Patty? Like, how am I gonna have a dragon and a cow on a single theme island and still like try to stick to the aesthetic, right? Like, no, I got to pick my favorites and go from there. I did try to stick to like a color theme for the villagers too, but it was it was pretty easy to be honest um, because like there's so many of every color. I was like, easy peasy. I was thinking for our fourth section, we might like switch it up and do a blue theme. And I was just thinking of how fun that could be. There are so many good blue villagers. I don't know. I don't know yet. It's so hard to decide. It's going to take me time to figure that out. This isn't working for me. No, I didn't mean to pick that up. Okay. What I meant to do is just come over here and place the item so that it would lay differently. Will this work? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Where did our drink machine go? Or snack machine? Okay. You pick your favorite villager from each personality type for some variety. I learned that lesson very quickly in Animal Crossing because I got so tired of everyone telling me they were a pop star. I was like, we get it. Leave me alone. We get it. Okay, I need more small items. I didn't, I only got like three, right? We could put our tangled cords right here or push this completely over. No, then it takes away the hearts. I think we'll actually push it up to the bench. Yes. Yes. And then we'll put the ABD here. No, here. Here. Too much fun abusing the guys you want to love. Look. I said it once. I'll set it. I'll say it again. If I don't want them on my island, I will hit them with a net I will feel slightly bad about it but not for too long not for too long you gotta do what you gotta do it's really hard to get them out of like it's really really hard to kick an islander out or a villager out like it's really hard <laughs> you have to time travel so much and I find that hitting them with a net or abuse as Leptic calls it is the best way to like ruin your friendship points okay <laughs> like that's the goal I'm just trying to ruin friendship points I'm not trying to be like a complete asshole but sometimes you have to be sometimes you have to be you <laughs> <laughs> you beat bubbles on a daily basis and keep her around so she can be your arch nemesis mm, that's amazing i truly hate bubbles i can't lie okay i had her on my first island she was like the third villager i ever got and i was like i don't want you because after like a week of gameplay i was like if this girl won't shut up I'm going to, I'm going to scream. I'm going to literally scream. Oh no. And she was an accidental autofill. That's even worse. That is even worse. Oh my God. Man, the last villager on this island that I had to kick out took a very long time. Like a very long time. Um, It took like a week of like straight up just way too much time traveling way too much hitting with a net and then i would follow them around until they would get like angry at me and the worst part guys i actually liked the villager they just didn't fit my aesthetic they just didn't fit my aesthetic it was maple maple is probably the cutest villager in all of animal crossing and I was straight up hitting her with a net. I was like, I don't care. Get out. I do care a little bit. But I was like really trying to get her out. Because I was trying to get one more green villager. I regret it a little bit. But it's okay. Like, she's really cute. But I just didn't want her. 
I'm just getting one. <laughs> yeah, it takes time to kick a villager out. It's freaking hard. Uh, like, why do they have to make it so difficult? That is the one thing I would love if Animal Crossing would do for us. Oh, that won't fit on top of the ABD. I didn't realize you can't put stuff on top of it. But that would be so amazing of Nintendo if they could just like let us do whatever we wanted with our villagers. Like, please, is it that much to ask? Good Lord. Good Lord. Where's the skateboard? Will this fit here? Okay. I don't hate it. Kind of fills up the space back there a little bit. Yeah, okay. What can we put over here? We've got... Uh, where did all the miscellaneous items go? Oh, that's right. They went up here. Uh, bottle crate? I... I don't know how I feel about that. I don't like that it's like sitting off the, to the side. So that's a no for me. That's a no. I know I got a box somewhere. We could try that. Again, off to the side. Okay, fine. I get the hint. We will put it in the middle. That's fine. Uh, we don't really need two items there anyway, so. You wish Isabel, uh, telling Isabel about a villager would influence them to leave. That would be, that'd be so easy to implement. That'd be so nice. Cause like, I know we can complain about a resident. So if they could just like, get the hint maybe that we don't want them there it'd be a lot easier it's a lot easier yeah why not let's just put a little fence there okay this is turning out kind of cute this is turning out really cute i'm happy i didn't really know completely what i wanted to do but so far i think that it's working for me i think it is we'll put that there because if we go back to the inspiration picture, this is looking pretty similar to what I had planned. So where did it go? So this was the initial plan, just the fence fences and evergreen ash. And then I wanted to take this vibe and put it over there. The only thing I don't have so far is like trash bags, that storage shed and the paper, which we could see. Um, I don't know where that storage shed went. It's not in my um inventory i don't know where i put it i know exactly where i'm smart i'm smart okay hold on hold on so while i was planning that section i took everything down and i put it over here just so i wouldn't lose it and then look at me thankfully i had enough duplicates where i didn't really need any of this but wow Wow, Megan. What else do we have? Okay, here's our scattered papers. Let's take that. Why did I do this? Oh, why? I just can't believe I forgot about it. I was like, where's my pink shed? Oh no, <laughs> what am I gonna do? <laughs> it's literally on the beach. <laughs> it's literally on the beach. Trash bags, yes. Yeah, and another drink machine, sure. Sure, what else? I don't think I need that sure i'll take that you feel like the only reason they didn't implement it is so that it has the same spontaneity as the old games when they'd randomly move out without a word probably so probably so and like you know unfortunately i don't think we'll get any changes to animal crossing as is but i do hope that in the future whenever we get something else you know whether it's a new animal crossing or a similar game from Nintendo, maybe that's like a feature they could give us. Just like, I wanna rule the kingdom. I wanna be God. So please give me the ability. That's all I'm asking for. I wanna be God. Is that too much to ask? Is it? Um, that item is not working for me. Where's our scattered papers? Let's try that. No, it's too close to the steel fence. It's kind of like a picky item, which is a bummer. Uh, okay. Still, still no. Wow, okay. It is like taking up way too much space. Okay, done. 
Let's do one more over here. I don't want them to line up too perfectly, so we'll put it kind of in the middle. I thought I picked up both of them. Mm. Did I not? Did I not? I don't think so. Jace, welcome back. Hey, happy Wednesday. Hello. You are getting to see Moonbeam this time. We're doing some actual designing. We're like taking all those amazing ideas and stealing them. Not really, but maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. Vile of Tea, you hate how they gave us so much freedom and basically everything besides villager moveouts, which makes no sense. I agree. I agree. Like, we have the power to create an entire world, whatever theme we decide, and yet we can't kick out a Bubbles because we hate them. Because we hate them. Okay, where? Ignore the wheat fields. Don't even, don't even look at it. Yes, we are the resident representative. We should be able to say, Ab absolutely, absolutely. Ah, there it is. Almost missed it. Almost missed it. Look, one day Nintendo will stop hating its, you know, fans and be like, here you go. Here's everything you want. <laughs> Here's everything you could ever ask for. Now leave us alone. That's all they got to do. Just give us everything we want at all times. Okay. Okay. Oh my God. My pockets are like really overwhelming me. Okay. There we go. I don't hate it there. I don't hate it. It's oddly in the way, but I don't mind it. I want this area to be like slightly messy. Um, so it's like, it, I think it works for me. Let's put a bike over here. Let's make it even more cluttered. If I can find stuff. <laughs> if I can find stuff. I have way too many things out right now that I'm just like not sure what I want to do with. Okay, I think I actually, ooh, I kind of like that placement. That's perfect. It's not what I planned, but I like it. <gasps> you found stitches. Nice. Okay, I love punchy too, um, but I, stitches is awesome. Eventually bubbles will leave and you can have punchy if you can find them. But stitches is great. That is like so like on my wish list right now in my head not really written down anywhere i just really want a stitches plushie because like stitches is literally a plushie and i just think i just want that like so bad hold on did i pause the music yes i did wow wow okay done perfect um yeah it's hard to say like who is like better i think that punchy's a really amazing villager but stitches is sick i love stitches so much like personality and uniqueness <laughs> violet t i also saw froggy crossing hunt for stitches i recently saw their hunt for tad which took even longer but yeah, I mean, how can you find stitches and be like, meh, next time? Because what if there's not a next time? Stitches is freaking hard to find, okay? Ah, uh, this isn't working for me. I don't like it. I don't like it. Jace, you've been having so much luck lately with villager hunting. You found Rosie and two tickets the other day. That's awesome. Holy crap. Y'all are lucky right now. Y'all are lucky. Ooh, is Celia gonna sit down? Ah, Celia's enjoying the space we've built. That makes me so happy when villagers actually use like the things you spend forever building. It's like the best feeling. Let's try some fencing right there. We have this in our pockets. We might as well try to use it. If we hate it, we'll, you know. Okay. I don't hate it. Just a few on each side would look super, super cute. Super, super cute. 
you found three dreamies and 10 tickets or less that's your usual average too um i gotta say guys I, I don't have the patience for villager hunting because every time i do try um <laughs> nothing goes my way and i just get cephalobot 10 times and like cephalobot is cool sure but i don't i i, I don't need them i don't want them like, thank you but please go away <laughs> you know what i mean so like my luck villager hunting is um it's not good it's not good and like yeah it's just rough to keep up the like keep up the pace like for example watching froggy crossing literally spend like hours searching for her tad who i actually used to have on my island and kicked off because he was boring because he's a jock i just don't know how she did it i'm like how do you sit through this how do you put yourself through this torture i cannot do we want some bugs it's kind of city-ish kind of weird but i don't know might as well try it um do i have any bugs no i actually sold them all recently i needed money Mmm, okay. I kind of- we might do the cockroach. <laughs> it's kind of fun. <laughs> it's like a realistic city and Celia is stomping all over him, so it's not like he's alive or anything, right? As annoying as villager hunting is, it can be so satisfying when you finally found one. I, understandable. Understandable. Like, I get that- I get that feeling. Like, the few times that I have done it, when you see them, it is like- <laughs> like let me cry like i don't even know what to do yeah like your soul is just gone poof okay it is such a good feeling such a good feeling <laughs> you need the toy cockroach you feel bad when you step on one so like i'll leave the cockroaches in my house like not even just like on purpose i just don't care to like run around and step on them but i feel i do feel bad when i do step on them kicks look at you kicks he's my favorite npc he's so cool he's so cool the toy cockroach is super fun though because look boom step smash not dead no remorse i don't feel bad at all i don't feel bad at all jace jace 1000 plus tickets to find marcel I've watched a lot of villager hunts, okay? Um, a lot of live streams and a lot of like VODs of people doing villager hunts. And I gotta say, I don't think I have ever seen anyone find Marcel. So I'm not surprised that that took so long cause good Lord, good Lord. That's impressive. That's impressive. The commitment is uh is strong and it pays off you know it, it does pay off why is it saying there's no room i definitely have room for an item right like i should i should yeah okay i don't actually want that right in front of the abd what am i thinking what am i thinking okay let's go ahead and try putting down the evergreen ash I need to customize it so like it is gonna look weird but we'll figure out our placement before we customize it yeah that's perfect that's perfect you've seen lucky and cookie like twice max yes um i got cookie from a villager hunt actually and it was actually a pretty quick one it wasn't too bad it wasn't too bad i really liked her you want the cockroach, but you don't have a patience to do a bug off. <laughs> there. There. I won't tell you how I got it. Because it didn't require any patience at all. It was very impulsive. Same with how I get my villagers. Because I have zero patience. Zero. Okay. This is looking good. 
it was a treasure island. I will take it as a sleigh. <laughs> I go to treasure islands pretty frequently. Um, it is how I have 3,400 items. Um, my take on it, to be honest, is that if it helps me enjoy a game, like enjoy this game and keep interested, why not? Why not? And it, it keeps me very interested in the game because I don't have to worry about like, oh, I'm not gonna enjoy designing because I don't have what I want. Like, no, I've got anything I could really possibly want and more. And yeah, it keeps me interested for sure. But yeah, that's also how I get my villagers. That's how I have like, I have this like perfectly curated for like my color themes and my like aesthetics on each section. I got them all from a treasure island, which I didn't learn until like, I don't know, a few months ago that you could actually get a villager from a treasure island. I didn't know that would work, but it totally does. And it's awesome. It's the life to live. <laughs> Exactly. Okay, I would croak immediately. I don't have the patience. After we do this island, God knows how long it'll take. It could take like two months, three months. I'm not sure. Um, but at some point, I will be starting an island where there's no terraforming and no treasure island. And I'm going to cry about it, but I think it's going to be kind of fun as a challenge. Um, I haven't played Animal Crossing the like normal way in a really long time. So I, th I think it would be a really, really fun challenge. Um, like it'd be, it'd be really, really cool. So I want to do no terraforming, no um, treasure islands. Obviously, I will time travel because like... Okay, uh, just like the minimum am amount of cheating. <laughs> If you can even call it cheating. In my opinion, I would say no, but kind of, I don't know. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to do that at some point. But for now, we are living Treasure Island realness and cheating as much as possible. Okay? You have a no terraforming island? Yes, I think it's really fun to just like go with the flow, right? Go with the flow. Yeah. Exactly. I think it'll be really cool. Okay, I like this double bench feeling here. That's fine. I want to put a few items surrounding this place, but not too many. Not too many. So like this, I don't want to block the fence or anything in front of it, but we could try using our flower bench or our flower... What is it called? What is it called? Where is it? Flower bed. Duh. <laughs> Duh. We could put that right in front. That's kind of nice. Oh, hello. Thanks for interrupting. It's not like I'm really busy. Yeah, no, not like I'm really busy at all. I'm good. Uh, that's. I was playing yesterday and Celia asked me to come over too and I felt kind of bad. I felt kind of bad for not going. But no, I'm not gonna go again. It's okay. It's okay, it's okay. So you said, I don't personally consider Treasure Island's time travel or any of that stuff cheating. It harms no one and it's not like you're getting an advantage. A hundred percent, okay? I completely agree. I completely agree. My husband calls it cheating, and I'm like, look. Look, man. I... It's a game, first off. And he does a bunch of modding on other games, and so I'm like, why can't I, you know, why can't I do it? If I could mod my Switch, I would. I wouldn't make content about it, because Nintendo took down a lot of it. But if I could mod it, I absolutely would. Um, but unfortunately, I looked up the serial number for my Switch and it's not moddable. And I was like, tear. Literal tear. I'm sad. Um, bag? Not right there. Not right there. Maybe like in front of the fence. Nope. That's what I wanted either. <laughs> Games that are primarily solo have no way of being cheaty. Yeah, I don't... I really agree. Like... This game has been so much fun for me. 
and I'm like literally terrified of ever falling out of love with it because there's not going to be any updates. So anything that I can do to really keep myself interested, I don't think is a bad thing at all. Like right now, sure, I'm going to go to all the treasure islands that I feel like, um, but eventually I'll I'll do a challenge where I don't and I think that will be fun too. Like I'm going to keep up my interest in this game however I can because we're not going to get that much. We're not going to get that much stuff in the future. Um, I hate that. I will use that item, but not there. Um, so yeah, I think as long as you're interested and you're having fun, that's the goal. That's definitely the goal. Oh, these poles? Yes. These are working. Yes. Yes. That looks great. Are they facing the same way, though? Yeah, they are. I don't like that. I'll turn one around. I will turn one this way, even though it doesn't have the stuff that will show. I don't know why. It just bothers me. I know it's probably not realistic, but it bothers me if they're both facing the exact same way. Hmm. You love playing modded games, and if I can make the game more efficient for me and how I like to play it, then I'm going to do it. Yes. Live your best life, play your game how you want to, and take no shit, okay? I love it. 100% agree. 100%. Do I have anything else small that we can use? Oh, we haven't used that yet. Okay, where do we want to put that? Uh, in... Here? <laughs> you don't have 87 mods and 8,000 sim mods for no reason. <laughs> the game will cater to me and everything I want to do and nobody can do anything about it. Yes. Yes. Like I said, if I could mod this game, like if I could mod my Switch, I would immediately. Immediately. Okay, if I put this here... Can we still sit down on it? Okay, yeah, because I want to make sure villagers can still sit. Um, that's a little too in the center. How's this? Uh, it's okay. Is that better? Nah, honestly, I think it's taking away. I'm doing a little too much. Like, yes, I want clutter, but that was... It just didn't really work. Mmm... I don't know so my issue here is like it's empty but like is it empty in a good way or do I want more stuff I could put more fencing more of these or just leave the small regular fence I'm not sure I'm not sure hmm. if you can manipulate the time and space of the game I'm playing then nobody can say anything to me yes be a god be a god thank you that yeah plaza is a better word i was like how do i even describe this this section plaza duh thank you i think it's turning out pretty pretty good this is i i like it i like it i just started kind of throwing shit down and i was like will it work i don't know but we'll find out we'll find out I have an extra skateboard we can put somewhere too. Um, maybe we just put it right here. Maybe we just put it here. There it is. Yes. Okay. So we're going to put this. I have to recolor it. Um, but we're going to put this. I just, it, I don't want it to be brown. I'll fix that. We'll go to Har Harv's Island and we'll fix that. But I want to put this here. A fountain would mess with the walkability. Yeah. Yeah. So I think, I think that this is, this is the one and it takes up that space and like, yeah. I'm just, I have to go recolor it right now because like, yeah. Can you? customize hold on let me look it up 
I want to find out if we can customize this without going to Harv's Island. I can't remember what is only customizable through Cyrus and what is not. What is not? Okay, um... Yeah, we have to go to Harv's Island. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Okay, yeah. Yeah, Jace, I don't I don't blame you for just surrounding it with like the trees and fences because it is it is really hard to like it's just really hard to design around the the plaza itself. Like it, it's rough. That's why I thought extending the plaza, making it a little bit more like on theme would be kind of fun. And I, I think we're accomplishing that. Like, I don't hate it. And that's like, that's an improvement because I truly hate resident services. Like the way it looks, it's just like, I don't want it. I don't want it. And like, why can't we have a say on it? <sighs> I've seen people mod their switches and like have a pink resident services. And I hate them because I'm jealous. I'm just jealous and I hate them. But it's okay. It's okay. Like I said, all Nintendo needs to do is give us a game where we can have anything we want at any time, and that's it. That's all that, that's all that I'm asking for, okay? I'm gonna move my mic up a little bit. There we go. Not the hiccups. Not the hiccups coming back. I swear, every stream, my allergies randomly show up out of nowhere, and I get hiccups. I don't understand it, and I don't like it don't like it animal crossing creative mode like minecraft would be a savior yes absolutely i was just watching um i was watching nintendo talk stream on youtube and he was literally just saying that like that's what he thinks that the next animal crossing could be or should be and i was like hell yeah hell yeah that'd be so nice okay so we have red, white brick, yellow, brown, blue, green, gray or black. Okay, I'm thinking either we do green because I'm trying to keep these colors like pink and green or we do the white like brick. I don't know. I don't know. You want a Japanese res resident services option, option so bad for my Japanese island. Like, please, Nintendo. Yes. Yes. I just think there could be so many little improvements that I would just love another update. But I think I'm right there along with every single Animal Crossing player and every content creator of being like, please, just a little bit more. Just, just a little bit more because I love this game so much. So, so much. Violet T, you are so... You're so on, you're, you're just so correct. Okay, you're so correct. I, I don't think I've ever seen resident services fit a theme perfectly. It can work in like a, you know, like a natural, like, you know, brick city, um, but not that many people do that theme in the first place. And so it's like, what, what are we supposed to do with this? What am I supposed to do with this like giant plaza that's empty and I can't customize with a building with a purple roof, okay? It sucks. It sucks. Um, I'm going to customize this green and then I'm going to get my other evergreen ash out and we're going to customize it as white because I just don't know which one I want. And I feel like if we just place them both, we can just figure it out from there. But let's get one from Tortimer. I love that he's here on Harv's Island because it makes my life so much freaking easier and it makes me like not stress out so much. Where is it? There it is. So yeah, we'll make this one white and hopefully it'll work better. I might customize these while we're here too. Like, I'm sorry, but I have to, have to. They should absolutely make resident services customizable. Like, please, uh, that, please. They gave us so much in the update. They could have just included it, okay? Okay. Yeah, the only theme it goes for is Normcore. Um, exactly, exactly um it you know matches like some of the in-game paths and all of that like sure um but other than that it just doesn't work and so it really sucks that we can't customize it that was like 
the main reason I really wanted to mod my Switch. For a while I was like, ah, I'm not gonna mod my Switch, it's fine. And then I saw that people could customize their freaking resident services by using it and I was like, okay. And then my husband looked up the serial number and we discovered that it could not be, it could not be customized. <laughs> Jace, I feel you. I know. It's rough. It's rough. I just... I, with all of this shit, okay? All of the frustration, I just... I still love this game so much, and it's so annoying. Like, I don't want to love it anymore. I don't want to love it. But I do. But I really do. It's okay. It's okay. Like I said earlier, like, I'm getting out as much as I can from this stupid game, okay? Um, I actually was very late to the party and didn't start playing this game until 2021. So, I didn't go through any burnout, really. I did have a little bit, um, but once I even got close to burnout, the update dropped and I got that much more excited. Um, so I'm really lucky, honestly, that I didn't play it right away because like, that's probably why I'm still enjoying it to this day, <laughs> okay? Like, I'll take what I can get. You got a Switch Lite from a year ago. You just cope with what you have because you'll live vicariously through Liz Alas and her modded island. Same, I live through EJ's modded island. Uh, EJ plays on YouTube and I'm just like, ah. I love watching his videos like he did a while ago from from modding. It's just so entertaining. It's so entertaining. Um, but also a freaking bummer, okay? Because Nintendo doesn't, like, first off, like, doesn't give us more updates. And then they took down modded content from creators, which I understand, sure. And that is a risk from putting out content with, you know, a modded Switch where you're not, which you're not supposed to do. Um, but it's a bummer that a lot of that content got taken down. Um, List the Last specifically had a few videos taken down and I was like, damn, damn. Also, can we talk about the fact that the flower beds are literally 5,000 bells to customize? That's dumb. Their prices are all over the place. Like, either Cyrus is, like, doing cheap work, or he's, like, literally scamming the hell out of us. Like, it depends on the item you pick. Like, silly. But that's okay, because I really want to uh, customize. And I'll put up with it. That's capitalism, baby. Okay, done and done. That's all the items. We have our evergreen ash. We'll try out the white, and we'll try out the green. And we will see which one is better. Because I don't really know yet. I don't really know. I'm not sure. Okay, ready to go. Yeah, it was it was a huge bummer to have or to see like people having their videos taken down. And Alyssa the Last makes really, really good content. And like sure, sure, it's like not allowed, but it's like she wasn't showing people how to do it just showing the way that she did it right and so it's like or not showing how but just showing what she did with it you know like different ways that she would design and stuff like that not showing the behind the scenes of how to do it but just showing using that kind of those kind of kinds of features so huge bummer huge huge bummer absolutely oh me back up a little bit you would love to see uh 15 villagers on your island like need more houses to decorate with that'd be kind of cool like if we could just add a few more houses like for for villagers that'd be cool you could always make another account and just like add yourself to your island but yeah choosing the 10 favorite villagers bummer that part is hard like, I had a, a lot more villagers that I wanted to add to this list. Um, I think that we made it work. But I had to, like, pick and choose favorites. And I was like, uh, oh, bummer. But you can have more bridges and you can have more inclines. 
Thanks, Nintendo. <laughs> like, yeah, we did need that. We did. But there's a lot more stuff that we could have used. <laughs> there's a lot more. Okay. Are we ready? Let's try the ash. Where is it? Okay, here's one. Okay, that's green. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate that at all. Okay, babe. See you in the future. <laughs> Bye, Fauna. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, being really flexible. And just, like, switching them out. Picking not even just new favorites, but, like, just something new. Okay, here's the white. Mmm. I don't... I don't know. I don't like it that much. It kind of matches the bottom of the fence. But I think I liked the green a little bit more. This is hard. Designing sucks. I'm just kidding. I love designing, but this is really hard. This is difficult. Hmm. I don't know. Let me think. Let me put the green one down again. Oh, or just like completely kick down a path. Hold on. I know I said I hate when people do this, but if it's just for one, it's acceptable. Nope, that's the wrong one. We I forgot we used the one here at the bottom. Yes. Oh, shoot. I... Megan, get it together. Get it together. What are you doing? What are you doing? Okay. I'm going to try the green one again because I think that I liked it more. Oh, shoot. Was it this one? No. Okay. Hold on. So that's the white one. I need to clean out my pockets because I have too many things and I'm getting confused. I'm getting confused. Okay. Okay. Helps with burnouts too. Yeah. If you get bored with villagers, you can just like... Yeah, sure. See you later. Bye, babes. Get a new one. Have a villager you absolutely despise on your island and have them be your worst enemy and give them all your trash. <laughs> That's what Bubble's there for, is it, right? Just give her all the trash. That stinky boot you fished up, you know, just give, give it on over. Give it on over. Oh, look at Teddy taking a nap adorable adorable this is turning out real cool and i'm a fan i'm a fan hmm <laughs> i think we'll call it a day on that plaza i might change things around but i'm really digging this as is right now this is really good I want to work on the parking lot anyway, so we can mess with that and then come back if we ever decide to. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I do need to open back up the island designer so we can lay those paths for our parking lot, but that's looking really good. So boring if you have to play your absolute favorite, favorite villagers. I have a worst enemy in every game you play. Nancy L Landgrab in The Sims. Worst enemy. I drowned her once. Clinton Stardew Valley. I put bombs in his house. Sometimes for shits and I like you. <laughs> That's fantastic. Wait, that means like I'm doing this all wrong. I need an enemy for at least one of these color schemes, okay? At least one. I don't really hate anyone. Vladimir is like, for me, he is the one that I'm intimidated by, okay? Vladimir and Fuchsia, I'm like, wow, they're too cool for me. Vladimir is like kind of an asshole, but it's like you want to be his friend. You know what I mean? So I wouldn't say he's an enemy, but maybe he can fill that spot for me. Maybe. I don't hate it. Let's put a little drain. <laughs> That's fantastic. Okay, keep it interesting, you know? Keep it interesting. Okay, that looks cute. That's cute. Just a little drain for no reason, but you know. Okay. So let me clean up some of the items that I had out and like restart. Um, oh no, I put my storage shed away. Let's put that up. 
Because I really need to clear this out. This is giving me anxiety. I don't like it. I don't like it. Okay. You have a cheating ex named Vlad. So now I hate the villager Vlad. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Well, you know what that means? Vlad is my enemy now. He is my enemy now. You have personal beef with Gruff? Delete him from existence. I don't... The only, like, villager I ever, like, truly hated... God, I'm trying to even think. It was probably Bubbles, like, not to copy or anything. But she was the first villager that I was like, get the hell out. Get out of my sight. I don't want to see you. You know what I mean? Other than that, I'm like, eh, you know. I'll let you live. I'll let, I'll let you live here. I'll let you soak in all of my hard work. You know what I mean? Um, but also I spent like five months solely in Happy Home Paradise. Um, so I didn't deal with my villagers for very long. <laughs> Did any of y'all do that? Did you just spend too much time in the, uh, Happy Home Paradise and forget that your villagers existed? Cause I sure did. Raymond! W uh, what? What? I'm not a Raven like, or a, a Raymond like Stan or anything, but I do know that there, the Raymond like fiasco of everyone like dying for Raymond was huge. So like, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. I don't really like him, but I was like, you know, eh. Despise Rodney. Go just go delete yourself, stupid rap boy. Go to jail. <laughs> we have feelings today, y'all. We have feelings. Um, this'll do. I need to move them back to lay the path, but that'll do. I don't hate them there. Freaking Rodney. Hmm. It'll work. Um, there are a lot of villagers, though, that people hate that I do like. So, like, for example, um, Violet. Violet gets mad hate from a lot of people, including like, Froggy Crossing. But I personally, um, I really like her because she's a pink monkey. Like, how unique. How fun. Like, why the hell not, you know? I think there are just so many, like, weird villagers, like, they just look so odd, but I just, like, can't help but kind of love them. You know? Like, Chops? What a weirdo. I love him. Y'all, this is not even, and it's bugging me. I'm not sure if we can get this to work. I'm not sure. Lori, Pietro. I think Pietro is a very, um, controversial villager. And, like, I kind of don't love Pietro. Like, I know I kind of gave you shit about it because, like, I don't really like Pietro. I think that... I don't know. He just weirds me out. Oh, thanks, Teddy. That's cool. These are nice. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't love Pietro that much. Okay? I just... I don't know. It kind of scares me. I'm like, you, you don't belong in this game. You're too creepy and I don't like you. Okay. Controversial who? Yes. Chops is hilarious. Okay. <laughs> you love all the eagles and you blame Nintendo for making them so hot. The eagles are sick. Okay. Pietro is so endearing to me. I'm so scared of clowns, but he's endearing. Okay, that's kind of sweet that it's like, I hate clowns, but I don't hate you. You know what I mean? That's funny. Oh my God, this is like not gonna work. Am I gonna have to like not use lines? Shit, shit, this is not working for me. Um, um, <laughs> no, it's not working. Okay. I have to have the sidewalk surrounding this. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? I'm a, I can fix them girly. <laughs> Anything for Shane and Stardew Valley. If I can fix Shane, I can fix Chops. 
Chops is a challenge, okay? Chops is a challenge. I just love hearing like who hates what villager. It's just so entertaining. Because for me, I have a problem, okay? When it comes to Animal Crossing or like things just like in pop culture, um, like in general, like I know that's really vague, but I'm not a stan or a hater of very much at all. Does that make sense? Um, like, for example, I love like Miley Cyrus, okay? I've listened to like all of her albums, but would I call myself a stan? Not really. Um, I don't know everything about her. I don't know the words to every song. I don't own all of the albums. You know what I mean? Like I wouldn't call myself a stan. And then like, for example, I hate, um, I don't even know, like, who do I hate? Like, maybe I just need to work on having more feelings, <laughs> you know? Like, maybe I just need to have more feelings, but I'm not a stan or a hater of anything. Animal Crossing players are usually a different breed of, pe breed of people. Like, what do you mean you also isolated and abused your ugly villager? Slay. <laughs> <laughs> that's fantastic so you're a stan of everything you've ever fixated on interesting like i just i feel like i have the opposite problem where i cannot i can't fixate on one thing and like i kind of wish i could know everything about metallica okay like i wish i could um but I don't know if it's like an attention span thing or what, but I can't really seem to be consistent in things that I like, like, and like, I can't learn everything about them. Like, it's just, I don't know. It just hasn't really worked for me. I don't know. I'm <laughs> making you know way too much about your faves. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. I think at least like, you get to like look at things in a different way like i don't know i really wish sometimes that i could be a stan or like a complete hater uh i just don't have enough feelings i'm a robot not at all not at all a robot but uh i think i just need to like be more passionate <laughs> like maybe i just need to be like a more passionate person i don't know God, I'm gonna have to think about this after stream. I'm gonna have like a, I'm gonna have a journaling session and be like, why am I not passionate? Why don't I know everything about Miley Cyrus and the tea that's going on with her and like whoever the fuck else, you know? I don't know. Lori, I find you similar and like you are very good at like knowing things about everything. And I just like, I wanna be that way. I want to. Ooh, could this work instead of lines, y'all? Could this work? You can tell people way too much information about James Hetfield's childhood. Uh, I don't even know who that is. So, yeah, this is the other problem about not being passionate or not knowing anything about anything. I also don't even know, like, celebrities' names. Like, guys, I struggle. Um, I'm really bad at pop culture and, like, celebrities in general. So, yeah. <laughs> Journaling is one of your favorite things to do. That's awesome, Violet T. Um, also, if you want me to call you anything else, like please let me know. Um, but I will say journaling is a freaking struggle, but I started approaching it in a very different way. Um, journaling is something that I've been told I should do for years and years by like the media or like different therapists and stuff like that. People are always like, you should journal. And I recently talked to, to my current therapist about it and he was like, you don't have to, you know? And I was like, well, yeah, but like everyone says I should. And he's like, you don't have to. Um, so I've started approaching it in a very different way that I only do it when I want and I don't do it in a structured way and I don't do it like a diary. I used to think I had to. Like, oh, if I'm not like literally writing 
everything that happened that day, then what's the fucking point? Um, but I don't do that anymore, and it's actually really, really helped me. T, okay, I'm gonna call you T. <laughs> Brady, you will also live under a rock, right, Brady? Like, what? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> We're passionate people, right? <laughs> Lori, you literally had your own nail business. Uh, I will fight you. And I did. Okay, yes. But I don't know enough about celebrities. Okay, so that way, you know, I'm useless. Useless. I'm just kidding. I do have plenty of other passions. Maybe celebrities and pop culture is just not mine. Maybe so. Maybe so. I guess that's okay. That's okay. Oh, <laughs> Lori. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Because, like, sometimes I really do get, like, why don't I... Like, why can't I talk about the same things people talk about on, like, TikTok and Instagram? But also, it could be... It could be that I'm, like, just getting too old? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't like this when I was young either. T, you live under a rock with a singular slug and his name is Jacob and we get to discuss how little I care about 99% of celebs. T, you're <laughs> incredible. That's great. <laughs> Tell Jacob I said hey. <laughs> Lori, you love pop culture so much it's embarrassing. Like knowing celebrities names is embarrassing. It's not. I want to know. I want to care. I know faces, but like, I don't know. I think, I don't think it's even my age. I think I just like, I don't care enough. I guess that's fine. You know, I do care about plenty of other things. I do. Not that it's bad to care about it. Like I would love to, you know what I mean? Like Slay, you know, all those celebrities names Slay. Good for you. This parking lot is pissing me off. I gotta say. Like, fuck, what am I gonna do here? It isn't working with the amount of space that I have because we have one, two, three, four, five, six that way. And then we do have five this way, but it would only fit like two cars. So what the fuck am I gonna do? Shoot. I just feel like I can't have a parking lot without lines. And I'm really fixating on, on that. I'm really fixating on that. It's better not to care, less parasocial relationships. I mean, sure. I get that point too, that's that's valid. Um, but also like, I just wanna know more things, you know? Like I, I get really into my different hobbies and like, you know, when I choose to start something new, I'll learn everything about it. Um, but I don't hold hold on to the knowledge very well. And I want to know just like everything about everything. Okay. Relatively young. And I want to care about celebs and all that pop culture jazz. But I literally could not be paid to care about whatever Hollywood is doing. <laughs> That's fair. And Hollywood is not the same either. Like when I was younger, Hollywood was more like in your face, like people cared more, right? But now it's like, mm, I, I care more about like this influencer on TikTok or something like that. So like Hollywood is kind of whatever. Um, but I do get slightly embarrassed when I like confuse famous celebrities because like I can't remember what they look like. Or I'm like, who is that? And it's like, it's literally like Liam Neeson or some shit. And I'm like, I don't know who that is. But like, you know what I mean? Like I'll hear the name and I just can't place their face. <laughs> Like metal grunge and goth cultures, I want to hear all about the icons in those subcultures, but mainstream pop culture is so lame. I don't blame you. Yeah, that's fine. That's totally fine. That's totally fine. I just wish I was better with like actors in general. Like, I want to know the names. I want to know the history of like what they've been in. But with me, I consume content and then forget about it the next day. Y'all, this freaking parking lot, I might do off stream because it's pissing me off. I'm going to try something else now. <laughs> I'm like, 
I'm getting angry. <laughs> I'm getting angry. Let me get a ladder out real quick. Sorry, again, my allergies only act up when I'm like on stream. It's the worst. It's the worst. I'm going to get both of these. I'll put one up and then like, meh. Let me put this one here. Cute. This is my favorite item. Like Nintendo gave us barely anything, but they gave us this getting very angry yeah that parking lot is pissing me off a lot so what i want to do is try out these custom designs okay so i got this uh in hopes that it would look like a roof on top of this if we cover up like the cliff obviously i was hoping we could like make it look like a roof um i hate it already just kidding <laughs> I'm trying this one. We might have to use the vertical one, but these could be kind of cooler. Like, I don't hate the other code. I just don't think it's going to work for what I want. Would this though, would this work? I don't know. This one's not bad. Let me lay a couple lines down and then see if I prefer the vertical ones. Let me see. Also, I'm pretty sure that I don't know why my Instagram chatbot is like coming up so often. I'll check the timer on that. Sorry to spam you guys. Sorry to spam you guys. Definitely check it out if you want to, but I'm not trying to like spam. Jeez, I got to fix the timer. Famous actors are impossible to keep up with. Like a couple months ago, I could tell you everything about Heartstopper and its actors. Anything else is impossible. Yeah, it's there's just too much. There's too much content. There's too many things to watch. Like there's just shit coming at you from every which way all the freaking time. Like how is how is one supposed to keep up? Like how am I supposed to be a stan if I can't even like keep up, you know? Okay, I think vertical is the way to go. So we're gonna do vertical. I like that. I like this a lot. I'm gonna lay this down probably over the whole thing because we're gonna create like kind of a faux building here, kind of. Um, but I just really want it to be like super cluttered. So that way when you like pan up, you're just like overwhelmed with like city realness, city realness. Okay, yay, Laura, you like the vertical ones too. Good. Okay. I feel correct in the decision now. This is better. Because, like, in the horizontal ones, you can see this little, like, where I'm standing, you can see that little gap, and that's bugging me, but the vertical one doesn't have it. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. We're good. We're good. Yeah, I like this. And it definitely looks a little bit like an actual roof. And I think, I think that this will also match the retro transportation stop, which I did put back in storage, but I'll get one out and see. Mm, should be like above these. I don't remember. I gotta start remembering where this stuff is in my pockets because Jesus Louise, does it take forever to go through these? No, it's not. What the hell? Uh, what the hell? Hold, please. God dang it, where are they? What? Hold on, now we gotta go by... Um, alphabetical order because like I'm lost okay S yeah we get it okay how did I miss these I couldn't find them you're going to be using symbol panels as the building walls no I want to use more of these I think that these will um, just take up a little bit more space I'm not sure how they'll work yet, but I can absolutely use simple panels. I just don't know which one I'll prefer. So I wanted to try these first. Oh shoot, I placed it the wrong way. 
Skiz, skiz. Hold on. So, like this. Um, but yeah, I think that we actually will need the sample, the simple panels to cover up the cliff. I thought that this would cover it completely, and I don't know if it, it doesn't. And so, like, I don't know if I want to just leave it bare. Let me see what it looks like from the, like, side view. Yeah, see, like, that looks rough. But if we use the simple panel, it will kind of, like, it'll take up even more space and make even more of a gap. And that I don't love. So, like, I don't know. This might be better. My other option, I'll get one out and we'll look at it. Because this is going to be like a faux building slash like, I don't know, uh, like market area. So I was thinking we could also use these stalls. And I'll get out a simple panel just to like check as well. I don't have them customized with the design, but we can try it with that. I did think for a while that we would use the medieval building side. But I didn't love it. I'll show you guys. Sample panels lag really bad in large quantities. I did not know that. I did know that like wheat fields did that and I've definitely gone through that issue. So that's good to know because like if we're going to cover up all the walls, that would probably create a lot of lag and I don't want that. I don't. Um, also, I'm just going in real quick and turning off I'm like editing that bot real quick because it's like bothering the heck out of me. We, we just need to like turn down the interval, so hold on. Oh, uh, somehow I set it to five minutes. What the hell? So every five minutes, it was like Instagram, <laughs> check it out. Like, no. Okay. Fixed. <laughs> Fixed. You've been to islands with lots and lots of simple panels and it lags super bad. Same with lots of trees. Yeah. I think you, a lot of items like in excess can do that. Um, wheat fields are definitely the worst that I've experienced on an island. Like, holy shit, does that lag? So, I don't know. But let me see how the stall looks. Because I think that it would look cute. If I can get it to work, I just don't know. I don't know. It's a little 1.0 realness, you know what I mean? It also doesn't look that terrible with like the gray contrast either. Cause like up on this cliff, there will be a lot of items so you won't see the design that much, but it works. If you've seen Froggy Crossing's Elite Frog Deconstruction when she's too close to a lot of simple panels, it lags a good bit. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I've actually visited that island. India. You love the stall? Okay. Wait, the stall might be it. Yeah, see, I love this, but like, I don't know. It's not, it doesn't work for me. I think the item is so freaking cool, but... It just, like, isn't the city core vibes. Is not the city core vibes. And I love these, but I, I want to use them in a different section. I think that this, if we cover this with, like, stalls and, like, different items to create, like, a market, it would be so freaking fun. I just have to decide what I want to put here. To kind of fake out like a, a building on top. I'm not actually sure how many stalls that I even have. Because we might we might need some more. We might need some more. Uh yeah, I only have like four total. That won't work. I got a lot of these as well for um the top that we can play around with. 
yeah the medieval wall if it was just a little shorter i i think it would too i think it would too oh jace yeah i know i when i visited leapfrog it was pretty bad um like you have to go really really slow so on monday we visited our favorite islands or like our we visited islands for our favorite creators um and froggy crossing is on the list that we were going to do next monday but i have started like debating on if we should or not because i visited it and was like oh no oh no <laughs> the lag is too much the lag is too much so i'm a little like undecided <laughs> I'm a little undecided on that because like it is it is pretty rough hmm that is like almost good there that is almost good there yes okay we visited list uh list the lasses island on Monday this week and uh yeah we went to tiny town squared and it was yeah there was no lag it was so fun to walk around that island is so cute and so cohesive and like in such a fun way because you can tell like she had fun with it and it was just like very her you know what i mean and so i really liked visiting it because of that it was really really cool to see sorry i'm trying to find my simple panels i have way too many items Okay, there we are. I want to customize a few more of these to try. I'm going to take a few of the tall ones and a few short ones. I'm not going to customize them all unless it works, but we'll see if it works first. I have to find a workbench though. <laughs> I should keep this in my pockets so I don't have to keep searching for it. Because I always forget where it is. Oh, is it here? Yes. Give me that. My pockets are full. Are you kidding me? Maybe we could visit Lac or Pelican Bay instead because there's less la lag. So Lac, is the dream address up for that one? That's a 30 day island, right? Is it up for that one? We can absolutely visit that. Pelican Bay would be really fun because um, I didn't follow her when that she was making that island. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna write it down. I'll go find the dream address after stream because Leapfrog is incredible, right? You guys know that. I can tell, but I don't wanna deal with it. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with the lag. And I know she's like redoing it anyway, so lag would be really fun because it's newer as well. I like that. That sounds fun. Oh no, wait, I need to put something away because I'm out of storage. Um, yes, Lac was an impressive island as well. And so we will do that. Good idea, guys. Good idea. I'm gonna put these up because we didn't like them. And then I'll get out the workbench and the whatever it's called to customize. What are those things called? Shit, I don't know. Yeah, customization kits. Duh. Wow. Duh. Lissa's Island is so consistent all around and love how full it is, but it's not overwhelming or laggy. Absolutely. It was so fun to walk around it. It was so much fun. I took a lot of pictures too. Treasure Islands are super bad about lag. Ah, yes. Okay. There's this one specific island that I go to, uh, to, you know, take whatever I want and um it's only clothing and it is uh, extremely difficult to go visit because it lags so freaking much so freaking much okay where's the short simple panel let's test it out i wanted to see how it looks with um that same pink roof design oh it's not good Ooh, it's not good. I know that I can customize it to not be wood on the outside, but I think it just doesn't look that great in general. Um, 
If we did a tall one with this, it could work. That could work. Hmm. That's really hard to decide. I just don't think that is my favorite. Okay, okay. Hmm. Oop, sorry. Nice, Jace. Nice, Jace. I love a good um, organized treasure island because I think there is an art to it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how they do it, but they sure do. What if we did a wide display stand turned around? Is this too tall? Hmm. This could work because we don't really need to see this part of the cliff. Let me like place a couple of these and then push them back. There is going to be like a little space there, but let me try it. Either I have to recolor them or these just won't work. Because the light wood is definitely throwing me off a bit. And I don't know if that's going to work too well. Why is making fake buildings so hard? Why is it so difficult? People make it look so easy. It's really not. It's really not. This is why I need like guides. Like usually when I'm building something complicated, I have a guide or like a Pinterest photo right in front of me so I can copy it and then customize it. Does that make sense? Like if I ever copy anything, I'm always going to change up a little bit to make it my own. So it's not completely a rip off. Um, but I have to like copy it first so I can understand what the heck I'm doing and then make it my own. So we might do that a few times on this island, just so you know. Um, but I promise that I'm still making it my own. There's one I go to that has roses underwater at the entrance and it's your favorite thing ever. That's so cute. How like, how nice. What a welcoming thing for them to do. That's so cool. That's such a good idea. I've seen one where it's like a whole like Sanrio entrance and I loved that one. I love how these look pushed together. It'll take a while to like get more of them and customize them all, but I love that one. That looks really good. I just don't know what the hell to put in front of it. We could do more, but I didn't like how you can see the cliff. <laughs> I don't blame you, T. I don't. Okay, like, it is hard to get those ideas in the placement. So, like, I say go for it and then, you know, make it feel like you. Damn, do I just put fences here? Do we just, like, throw fences everywhere? Because I kind of like them. Kind of like them. This, this item, like I said, is the star of the show anyway, so why not? Hmm. I want to put like a trash can down here. I want to make this like an alley. I like that. Do we have more fences? I feel like we're probably running out, but <laughs> that's okay. That's what treasure islands are for. And <laughs> that's why I'm subscribed. It's too tedious to mess up. So I want to get it over with and done as I go. Yes. It's just like, it's so much easier. One day, I hope to be the content creator that comes up with those ideas, um, but I am not there yet, okay? I am not. It'll happen. <laughs> Maybe. Possibly. Okay. Let's put this here. Is this the one with the design on the front? Yeah, okay. Cool. Will one fit here or will it leave a gap? That is the question. It will leave a gap, but if I push it over this way, let's see how it looks. It might look a little bit weird, but we'll, we're just figuring it out as we go, people. I hate it. I don't like it. 
Okay, let's try this. Let me make it not overlap with the stall. See if that looks better. Yeah, see, this is where uh, having an idea would be really nice instead of redoing everything ten times. Yeah, see, if we did do it, like, I could do a trash bag there. That's what I was thinking. Okay, definitely a trash can. Hi! Hello! Mystic Inc. Um, if you're comfortable with calling me calling you uh, by your name, let me know. But thank you so much for joining. Um, welcome in. Welcome in. I don't think I remember if we ever talked about you playing Animal Crossing, but I hope you like it enough to watch a little bit. If not, that's cool too. Thank you for following and welcome to the crew. Welcome to the crew. But yeah, guys, back here, absolutely gonna do an alleyway. We could make it a little bit bigger if we wanted and like do an actual alleyway. That'd be kind of fun. A phone box in the single spot. That's even smarter. That way we don't have to like take down any of the, the cliff. <laughs> it's Austin. Hey, hey, definitely not my guess, but hey, hello. How's it going? How's your day going? And Haley, it's both of you here. Hello, I was guessing Haley, but hi, both of you. Welcome in. Welcome in. Yes, okay, T, I liked that idea. We're gonna see if I have one. It's possible. If not, we can always put this. Or does that take up two spaces? I think it takes up two. Okay, I only have the yellow phone box, but let's see if it works. We'll see if we have anything else that takes up one tile. Let's see. Um, Austin and Haley, thank y'all for joining. Thank you for saying hi. Um, all the support is so much appreciated. We are very, very, very close to making it to Twitch Affiliate. Um, and I'm freaking pumped because this is week two of streaming and it has been a freaking blast, I have to say. It has been a blast. You love the pink vending machine idea if I made it white? Yes, okay. Yeah, because like, you know, pink is great, but we do have a lot of pink, especially in our plaza area. It's already pink, so I don't know if we need another one. I don't know if we need another. So let's try both that and the phone box and see which one we like more. And then I can always customize the the vending machine. And I don't think that we have to go to Harv's for that. Ooh, yeah, this is one tile. This is one. You were right. Oh, no, hold on. Okay, I kind of love it. Done. Absolutely. Let me customize it. Like, I like the phone box, but the, done. It's so cute. Okay, let me see. Shit. <laughs> Shit, I do have to go to Harv's. No. No. Jay's, your Wi-Fi just popped out from the freezing cold. Oh, no guys i'm so scared for tomorrow okay so if you weren't here when i said earlier i'm in north texas okay um ew but whatever we're from texas here i am from austin so it makes it a little bit better but tomorrow it is going to be like it's going to be cold it's going to be cold like nine degrees but feels like negative seven. I'm not excited. Okay, yeah. So the white will be a lot better. So we will go to Harv's. I'm just going to put it there right now so I don't forget. But I will go to Harv's and fix that. Because I like it a lot. That's looking really nice. It's going to be 19. Ugh. I'm not pumped. Okay. I'm not excited. The area that we live in is beautiful, but like, could I just get that without the bad weather? 
Like literally last week, there was a tornado warning. You're in Minnesota and it's in the negatives all week. Oh, bless you. Bless you, Jace. Okay. Being from like almost South Texas, it doesn't get that cold. It did a couple years ago, but it doesn't get that cold. And also, like, there's not that many, like, natural disasters. Whereas, like, up in North Texas, we had a tornado warning last week. And now it's going to be 9 degrees. T, negative 10 in Georgia. Not me complaining about 9 degrees. <laughs> not me complaining about, like, 9 degrees. It's not even supposed to snow here. Texans are just babies when it comes to cold. That is the, the one stereotype that is uh, very true about um, Texans, okay? We don't like the colds and we're babies, okay? That's just how it is, especially me being from Austin. Like, I just can't deal with it, okay? I cannot. Okay, we can put a fire hydrant, maybe some, like, tires? I don't know. I'm getting things for our alley just making it as random as possible so it looks realistic likely wouldn't be negative 10 knowing georgia but yeah in north texas it snowed every year and constant tornado warnings yeah it's definitely an adjustment um I i'm like a little terrified all the time of like what's going to happen because in austin like i lived there my whole life and there was nothing like it was so boring there was like we had a tornado warning uh okay i will say i will say this year we had an actual fucking tornado <laughs> but before that it didn't happen and since i was like eight years old okay like yes there was uh, there was actually a tornado this year things global warming but normally it's it's very chill so it'll be interesting living up up north super wishy-washy also dramatic about the cold yeah i mean like cold is hard okay like it's just hard to like deal with in the first place so i don't i don't blame anyone that's you know like shit this sucks even if it happens every single day you can still be like shit this sucks you know what i mean like that's fine alleys need drains right we're gonna do a drain um okay that's fine. That's good. Let's put like a tire stack. Why not? Let's just keep it weird. Keep it random. Make it a weird little alley. I, I don't know why I got these. These won't fit. Right? These take up too many spaces. Yeah. Um, Where did the items go? There it is. There it is. The closer to North Georgia, it gets way colder because of the mountains. Yeah. That's when it gets really rough. My dad is uh, currently living in Colorado. I visited uh, I visited him a year, I think it was like a year or two ago. Maybe a few years now. We went in November and Jesus fucking Christ, it was so cold. And I'm just so not used to it. Like I'm, I'm very much, very much a baby about the cold. um this possibly could work possibly okay let's look at it from the front yeah okay love how pink it is but how much filth there is to contrast it yes okay i like it i think it's just cluttered enough i wish that i could you know like move stuff a little like to the side so it wasn't all like one path but like this is pretty solid and yeah, my goal with this is to make it very pink and very cute, but also use things like the cockroach to make it like have a bit of personality, you know? Just a smidge. I like it. I like it a lot. That's perfect. That's super perfect. I was thinking about digging up, um, like possibly putting a tree here a lot of city core islands don't have filth at all like it's a city too many people live here make it dirty and gross have a running turnip on the ground for ants yes yes okay yes i did that on my last um 
City Court Island. So what happened? I'll be honest, I've never actually finished an island. <laughs> I've started like four different ones, but I've reset it every time. So what happened is I was making a city core island and it was turning out really fun. And then I just got so overwhelmed because it was like, how am I supposed to fill an entire island with this? Like this is gonna take so much work and I'm getting so bored of it because it's the same thing, you know? And so I did have turnips on that island and it really was super, super fun. But this is why I'm so excited about this, this four themes, one island idea because like I can do this little section and then be done okay like it's still a lot of work to do like we have a lot of ground to cover that we haven't done at all like we've literally just done a plaza so we have a lot of ground to cover but it won't be as overwhelming as taking up the entire freaking island yes slay okay we don't we don't finish islands here <laughs> I do hope to finish this one eventually but it, it'll just take time it'll take time for me because I don't know. It's a lot. Um, yeah, I think that we could put like a tree here and a tree here and maybe another bench. That'd be fun. I do actually have to buy trees because I don't have any. Oh, um, hello. What are you sitting on? What are you sitting on? She's enjoying it. That's for sure. Since you're growing rural city core, you lovingly named your island Serenity, City of the Moon. You're a Sailor Moon nerd and sick of naming my island Angel. That is so cute. That is so cute. I love it. I love it. So this island is named Moonbeam after my... Um, <laughs> my 14 or 15 year old rave name the, the name isn't that old but when i was 14 like 13 or 14 um this was the rave name that i picked for myself moonbeam so we had to have our island named moonbeam as well and my whole branding is around it because i love it so much okay um i picked it out when i was very young and i still love it I still love it. Lori, Queen Serenity was your first crush. I love that. My first crush was Usher. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I was in second grade and I had a folder with Usher's face on it. It was great. It was great. <laughs> I thought I was the coolest bitch in class. I was like, Haha. should we get one of these? This would look really, really cute on the side of the road why not why not i love it i think i have some in my uh inventory but i'm not sure all hail the usher folder yes i really thought i was so cool i really did i think i was i think i was honestly Ah, uh, pure emptiness. Don't look at any of it, okay? Don't look at any of it. When I found out Lissa Lass not only has your birth name, but a near identical appearance and birthday, I was literal shock. That's amazing. That's amazing. What an honor to share a birthday with her. Fun. Yeah, if y'all have not seen Lissa Lass, I highly recommend... I just did joined her stream yesterday and we did a design challenge for Christmas and it was super fun. Um, I participated it, participated in it and almost won. I didn't quite win, but I was like two likes away from winning and I was like, fuck. Um, but it was super fun anyway. This is cute. I'm keeping it there. I like it. Okay, now I need to get out an actual shovel and like use like literal nat nature. Literal clo clones, it's so crazy. That's so funny. Are y'all like similar in age too? Okay. Uh, what am I doing? Shovel. Shovel. No. Mm -mm. Okay. Did I already have one? Wow. Look at this. I have a literal back stock of trees and I just went and bought some. Wow. Wow, I should have known I had them. 
not smart not smart she's actually a bit older well long lost big sister then yay okay i'm excited to like try using nature in this as well because like i want this to be as realistic as possible but not really if that makes any sense like I want there to be the clutter, I want there to be the filth, I want there to be some actual nature. So it's just going to be like a balancing act for sure. We'll see what we can accomplish together. But so far we're making a lot of progress that I didn't expect because I was like, what am I going to do with my life? What am I going to do with this island? And I think that we've done a lot more than I expected. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm like really happy. Aw, T, thank you so much. That makes me so happy. I I was really at a loss of what I wanted to do, but I'm, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about it so far. Okay, so I don't want to put another pink bench, but I might have to, or we can customize it. But let me see how it would look if we did put it there i know we can't get the full vibe because there's like you know trees growing and shit but we can test it we're at that point where i really need to clear out my pockets again because it's like overwhelming to look at nope hold on this will look really cute i think we could make it white that would be fun let me see what the partition looked like just for shits and giggles i want to see I don't hate it. I don't hate it. The way they walked on the road past each other. I know. Where'd they go? I, uh, it's just great how, like, <laughs> my villagers are never around unless I'm, like, trying to build. You know what I mean? <laughs> you know? Drives me nuts, but it's also so cute. Oh, hi. See? He's got a little paper sack. That's cute. That's cute. Okay, so we need to recolor this and the plastic bench that we wanted to try out, possibly. Hmm. Okay, we'll take those and then, yeah. I'm gonna have to like go to a treasure island and get a lot more stalls. <laughs> but I'm deciding if I wanna like try and do something else in the meantime or yeah, like wait, like do something else in the meantime and like do it after stream or do it on stream. Like it's not that big of a deal. I just have to hide the dodo code because I subscribe for someone. Um, so I can't show the dodo code for the treasure island, but I could still go to it. I just don't know. I'm not sure. Because like, once I start getting an idea, if I like can't complete it, then I get like really, um, I don't know, I get really like lost. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure. I love my outfit with the pleather bag, the shoulder bag, it looks so cute. I hate wearing those bags in real life. Like they just annoy me to wear. I think they're cute, don't get me wrong. I just can't actually wear them. So it's just so nice to always live vicariously through <laughs> through my character. <laughs> like I would also never wear a bandage on my face, but cute, cute. Yeah, the feeling of your villagers using what we actually place down and what we work our asses off for is so nice. It's so nice. I can't wait to have this whole city built and for them to like walk around and enjoy the place and have a good time. I'm going to change up the music a bit. If it gets too loud or anything, or if it's too quiet even, let me know. A lot of the times if they do use it, I feel like it's because they can't access it properly. Or if they don't use it, possibly. 
Did you mean don't? Because, yeah. Like, there's something in front of them preventing it or whatever. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. Don't. Don't. <laughs> I get you. I get you. Um. Yeah. And I think that... I didn't get that satisfaction of seeing them use my island very much on the last, like, theme that I was doing, which was, like, a fall-themed island. Um, because I spent too much time in Happy Home Paradise. I spent, like, forever in it, and I just, like, never went to my island. So it's fun to see them, like, doing stuff. Words are so hard. <laughs> scream if you want. Just scream it out, and then you're good. I don't think I have any custom designs that would even look partially cute. Like, they don't work. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> What is this? I love this design and I'm gonna use it on like some simple panels for the market, but like what the eyes? It's just the eyes. Help. <laughs> it looks so fucked up. Why don't we just do like a logo? Let's just do a logo. I almost feel like we just need nothing. <laughs> Should we just do nothing? The fucking eyes. <laughs> so creepy. The best part is he's literally standing right next to us. Hey, bud. Hey. He's kind of creepy in general anyway, so. Is it just me that thinks that? But I think that Leaf is kind of creepy. I don't know. He's also, his dialogue is too long too, so I just don't like talking to him. But he sells me good things. Okay, oh my god, I almost forgot. Drink machine. Definitely needs to be white. And then we'll do it like some orange soda. Or we could do a sale. Nah, orange soda for sure. For sure. You wish Reese could do something instead of being an emotional support. I was saying this on our last stream of designing, but like I really wish that like we could talk to Reese more and that she would just like, I don't know, give us like an even more special thing because like she's just like, hey, go talk to Saiga. And I'm like, no, I want to talk to you. You're adorable and supportive of your guy, but like I want more from you. Do we want anything while we're here? No. I could use that for my jungle island, but we're not worried about that yet. I don't want any flowers yet. We can check out our rugs. Okay, T, it's not just me. Leaf is kind of scary, okay? He kind of freaks me out. Ooh, that's a good flooring. I already have this rug. A winner for sure, a winner for sure. And then, I don't really want to do this right now, but... Oh, wait, I just paid her off. That's right. That sounds bad, but yeah, I just got Katrina. Nice. Now that you mention it, maybe I should get reading about the future of the collective. Um, yeah, the collective is like, you know, kind of dead. There's no more updates. No more updates. I do like Katrina though. I can't believe I just am now getting her. Whoopsie. Okay. Let's go back, place that bench and see if we like it better. But I'm still, a, I'm a fan of the plant partition. I don't know if we're gonna, really gonna know how much we like it until the trees are grown in. So we might time travel and just like get it over with and see. Cause I don't, I don't know. Let's see. Okay. So we could even put, we could be crazy here guys. We could be, we could be crazy and we could put the bench in front of the plant partition. Wild. But then it's like you're literally sitting and like your feet are in the road. I don't know. I don't mind it. It's like a bus stop. You know what I mean? That's not that bad. 
Okay, drink machine. I think that definitely breaks it up a little bit better and I like it. We just need something for the top. I don't know if I have any small items in my pockets right now though. I don't. We just need one thing. Just one. We might put a bag. Let's look at bags. Um, I like this one. Hmm. Yeah, I think that that would like kind of make sense. Like, I don't know, someone like kind of left their bag while they're waiting. What else would you have at a bus stop? If we were to make this like an actual bus stop, what else would we have? I don't know. Cause that'd be kind of cute. I could even get a little truck and put it here. Not like that's a bus, but <laughs> it could still work. It could, it could work, I think. Cute, okay. This looks adorable. This looks like adorable. Oh, we've got a little concert going on here. Why do his eyes look so fucking creepy? Why does this look so- No, close your eyes! Ignore me! That's such a good idea, T. If we had a soda can, I'm not sure if I do. I can get one, but I don't know if I do. I don't think so. Let me check. Oh, why am I, why am I hitting that? Like that's my storage. Why am I hitting that? T, you have really good ideas. What the hell? So I want to see if I have the like small item ones. No, just a lot of cider. <laughs> just a lot of cider. Uh, okay, we have the bottles. I don't know if I want this one there just because like it's so big, but I'll have to replace it with like the small, like handheld uh, soda. Cause that'd be perfect. Like it's cute and small and very fitting. Let me see like if this one even works. Like I don't think it would. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's too big. Okay. So we'll put the bag for the meantime. But I have like an ongoing treasure island list. <laughs> and I'm putting soda cans down. Putting soda cans down. Yeah, we need that for sure, for sure. But overall, I'm digging it, digging it. Yeah, the green gotcha. If it's white, I don't want it to like, Um, I don't want it to blend in too much. So like even a green one would be fine. You spent an uncomfortable amount of time playing this game and decorating. How many hours do you have? How many hours does everyone have in this game? I'm curious. I don't have that many. Um, like I said, I didn't start playing until last year. Um, so I'm like lacking a little bit. 400 hours. How many hours? Okay. That's way more than I expected. That's actually way more than I expected. 670, I didn't realize I had that many, you guys. <laughs> I actually did not realize I had that many. <laughs> okay. Wait, did I save it? I meant to. Yeah, I did. Right? I'll cry if I didn't. I'm pretty sure I did. Shit, did I save it? Jace, 1400. 1400 since September 2021. I started playing in like August 2021. Holy shit. Holy shit. 
That's impressive. That is impressive. Handshake. Handshake to you. Amazing. Lori, how many uh, how many hours in Animal Crossing do you have? God dang. 400 in Stardew, Sims 4, and Animal Crossing. I mean, it sounds like you split your time up really well then, you know? Oh shoot, I don't want to go to Christmas, so I have to go to like past Christmas. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. Dang, that is like... 1400 is a lot. I'm like... God dang. God dang. Oh, okay. So you kind of like, you'll stay at home and play it. I, that's awesome that you have it then. Like having something that keeps you, keeps you excited and just something to take your mind off of it. I'm sure is super, super nice. I'm sure. Still, I'm impressed because sometimes this game pisses me off so much that I'm like, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> Do you play Happy Home Paradise a lot too? Does that take up a lot of your time or is it mostly like in game, like doing the stuff, which keeps you going? So for me, I have spent probably at least a um, hundred or more of those hours solely in Happy Home Paradise. Like when it got released, I, I went hard, okay? Like I went hard. I played so freaking much. It was kind of nuts, honestly. <laughs> like I was going a little crazy. <laughs> yes, Leptic, call me out, okay? Leptic, my dear, dear husband, always calling me out in stream. I really did. I put hundreds of hours probably. It, it, I'm saying a hundred, but it could have it could be like two or three. I don't know, honestly. Like I have played it so much and designed so many homes. T you fixate on those games for about the same time, a few weeks to a month or two, and then yeah, like you can like switch it up, you know. Jace, you played through the Happy One Paradise like five times because you reset all the time. I don't blame you. And I remember the first time though, when I reset after finishing Happy Home Paradise and getting up to like the highest paid designer, I was so sad because I didn't know that resetting my island reset Happy Home Paradise. And I kind of like, I teared up a little bit cause I was like, oh shit, oh shit. <laughs> Love to get part of the job. <laughs> that is a husband's job, I think. You do well, you do very well. T, you didn't get super far in Happy Home Paradise. I just got back up to where I now make like 20,000 every build. And I've done, I've done like 50 or so houses, but I actually speed ran it. So what I would do is like a villager would request the, their design, whatever, easy peasy. I would go in, I would put those three items down and then I would tell them that it was finished, even though there was like no wallpaper, no flooring, no other items. And then I would move on to the next one. I was trying to do it solely so that I could redecorate the homes on this island. It didn't take too long and it made it really easy. She had over 200 homes before the first reset. Yeah, I had I had so many homes, y'all, and I didn't speed run those. Like I actually did them. Like I would stay up till like 4 a.m. just designing homes. I love interiors, you guys. Like I think that I am much better at designing an interior than I am like on the actual island. So that's just me. That's just me. I love doing them. So many Animal Crossing players are like, I literally hate interior design and I, I just, I can't and I don't know what to do. And I'm like, I could do this shit all day, all day. Mm hmm. Yeah, I've done like, I've done very long builds on Happy Home Paradise. T, you want to go into interior design? Okay, not gonna lie. Animal Crossing, oh my, the trees! That's so cute. Okay, I'm gonna sit and talk. That's so cute. So not gonna lie, Animal Crossing low key made me like 
love interior design before I like hated it because I was like I don't even know what to do um but something about doing it in this game inspires me a lot so like for like a short example like my background back here this is like something I used to never really do like very much at all um like just like the small decorations and stuff um but when i would play animal crossing and do an interior i was like it feels so cute and comfy when there's more on the walls and just like more like you know a little not just cluttered but just like full of cute things okay and it made me like enjoy decorating my own house <laughs> you know because <laughs> it's freaking hard okay decorating in this game is easy peasy um in real life not so much because we're not all rich you know what i mean you know what i mean jace you're at 80 homes on your main island and it's so much fun oh, that's awesome that's awesome i love doing happy home paradise that full freedom is just oh, bless i love it imagine if we had the same features on happy home paradise as we did on this island imagine we don't have space for 3,400 items in the real world. You mean I can't open up a storage shed and have 3,400 items to choose from so when I change my mood about something, I can't just replace it? Why not? Why not? I wish. I don't want these tree branches. I love the tree here, you guys. I love it so much. I love it so much. Oh, uh, T, you recently moved, so you're you've got a kind of empty room. Yeah, I um, I was used to it for like kind of a long time. Like I just didn't decorate my rooms like a ton. I did more so in high school, um, and then uh, I don't know. I just I don't know. I didn't very much for a while. Um, so getting back into it has been kind of cool. Kind of cool. Um my office is done up quite a bit quite a bit a lot of it with the purpose of having a cute background i'm not gonna lie um but i'm trying to i've been brainstorming a lot of ideas about like my bedroom um and making it really cute but not as like not as like girly and like me because like obviously like i want my husband and i to be able to like share it so i've been trying to think of different ways to kind of do it up because like i'm good at designing in my own aesthetic but i don't know how to do it in a way where like we both will love it if that makes any sense i need to brainstorm a little bit leptic i agree t uh has had some like amazing advice today t is carrying the stream okay all of you guys are carrying the stream like what am i doing nothing <laughs> nothing <laughs> <laughs> okay i think that i like the pink bench more now that we have the white partition in the background so i think that i'm gonna keep the pink bench three stars on your current island t you can't stop dreading it dreading what are you trying to get up to five are you trying to get higher i stopped that grind a long time ago <laughs> once i get three i'm done <laughs> call it a day call it a day yes paper yes trash i love that that looks great hell yeah i'm gonna turn this to the side a little bit and see if we have anything that we can put here maybe possibly we could see we can see if the phone book works. I don't think the color is going to work like I said earlier, but we can see if the item works. You dread the first tracks of getting to three stars. Oh. Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, so that grind to get three stars is difficult. Should we just shove it under the tree or into the tree? Getting three stars is so hard. I will just lay shit all around, like just tons of different items um and usually that does a trick <laughs> jace you've been stuck at four uh on your main island because isabel says i have too many trees despite it being a japanese forest town yeah okay like 
at that point five stars is not everything it's really nice to be able to have your own theme and do whatever you want for example like i like to use a lot of different items like um leaving a toolbox you know not the tool but the toolbox using um lost books things like that those can make for really good decoration so like sometimes it's kind of worth it to not have five stars i, I will say like yes we love the lily of the valley but it's not always worth it any other constant resetters get emotional still after seeing kk hundreds of times yes okay when it fades to black when it fades to black and we get that little um shit that little you know they do the whole like pan around to see all of your villagers and everyone's singing it's so sweet a hundred percent agree absolutely it's the best feeling i'm kind of excited to do another island and get that feeling again because <laughs> it's just gonna feel so good okay it's gonna feel so good <laughs> jay's you too yeah okay it's like it's like you work hard okay you work really really hard in order just to get the three stars so like i feel it you work super hard and it's such a cute way to like see all of your villagers together in one place living their best life i love it wow let's like i want to like take a little tour of what we've done so far like this is looking kind of cool you guys i'm kind of living for it i need to add the road lines i like how i have one random one but i'm i'm living for this gotta love speed running animal crossing The alley is my favorite so far. This looks good. This looks really good. This is really like, my vision is really like coming to life. Thank y'all for your help today. Like all of that, all of these little suggestions have helped me a freaking ton. Um, but my vision is really coming to life. I'm really happy. Now we just have to cover this entire section with these ideas. <laughs> This looks great. Oh my God. Okay. I'm so happy. I need to get a million more stalls. Literally a million. Cause if we have to cover this whole thing, so that's four for me another, I don't know guys. I just need like a freaking ton, a ton. And I'm almost out of fences. So I'm gonna write those down. I need more fences. I need more stalls. I have the soda can written down. We should definitely get like multiple of those to leave around the city. Henry made an appearance. Hi, Henry. At last, it's Megan. I know I haven't talked to him since I really got him on the island. I think I only talked to him like once. Oh, uh, poor it did. Do you know no one can hear my scream from the basement? Did you guys see that? I should have like read that a little slower. A convenience store would be epic, absolutely. I was thinking of doing either a convenience store kind of thing or bakery. So convenience store would be really, really fun. Isn't Henry so cute, you guys? Hi, bud. Um, yeah, I like that. I need to like do the thing where we copy a building placement and then make it our own. <laughs> And I need to mess around with that idea because like, it's so hard to come up with your own. It's driving me nuts. And I know we can find a lot of inspiration and then just change it up from there. Yeah, I need a lot of stalls and fences. And then somehow I have to figure out what to do with this, this damn parking lot. It's gonna drive me nuts. It's gonna drive me nuts. Like, do I just not make a parking lot? Do I abandon that idea altogether? I don't know. I don't know. This would almost fit Nook's Cranny well, honestly. Can we just do like Nook's Cranny right here? <laughs> Does anyone know what the size is for Nook's Cranny? Let me look. Um, 
Nook's cranny building size. Why is my internet being so slow? Hold on. Oh, it's seven by four. So it would take up literally this whole thing and the sidewalk. And then come to like here and we couldn't have the fences. So I don't know. I don't know if I'd really like it. We can like take it and like visualize it. Let me put some stuff up so I can try. Cause like, I don't know. I don't know. I know we're definitely going to put, we're definitely going to put Able Sisters on the farm core section. Um, but Nook's Cranny, I was going to put in farm core, but it would work fine in city core. It just doesn't have the color scheme that I really like. Um, like it's orange and blue. It doesn't really like work, but let's just, let's fuck it. We you know, let's just try it out. Let's just, let's, let's attempt. It's worth a shot. I just wish, again, I just want to customize all the buildings. Like, I think that the only, in my opinion, I don't know if this is controversial. I think Able Sisters is the only cute building. <laughs> like, I don't think Nook's Cranny is cute at all. I hate the museum, personally like able sisters is the only one that i don't hate looking at like i despise looking at everything else <laughs> everything else but you know we'll give it a shot give it a shot good okay wait well yeah it's the museum, I just have a, a harder time decorating around it because it's so freaking massive. But the design is not like the worst ever. The museum is atrocious. See, like, it's just a split. Like, hey, everyone's split on the buildings. I don't know. Um, next time I do an island, Blathers is staying in that motherfucking tent. I don't care. Okay, he's staying in the tent. I I don't want to deal with like an actual museum anymore. I don't. I really don't. Jace, give us your tips because like every theme I have ever done, I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? Because usually it's just a very like regal, like, you know, it's just a regal design. And so I'm like, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, and let me imagine it. So we could still have the fence behind it or or we move it back one or like put double sidewalk in front of it mm. t that is a good idea about the museum is always i think that is a cute idea of expanding it i've seen people do like expanding it to like a second level which was kind of cute okay I expected to hate it, hate this a little bit more, but I don't. And I think it very much fits in the city core section more than it will in any other section. I think we might do it. There is a bank in your town with a Starbucks attached and the museum reminds me of that. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. The bank is pretty regal looking. Yeah. Yeah. And the museum is just so like, the reason I have an issue with it on other islands is it's just hard to make it fit in the theme because like, I don't have any like, 
um, you know, like regal or like elegant core island themes ever. So I just have a hard time with it. I am going to use it in my jungle core section and I think it's going to work well. Because I'm going to have it very like, it's going to be very jungly, very green. It'll be covered, you know, surrounded by trees and shit. So I think it'll work. But what do we think of Nook's Cranny? What do we think? Leptic, are you watching? I would like your opinion too. I think that this is working. T, you're right. It literally looks like a bank. It literally looks like a bank. Laura, you like it? I think I do too. I just wish it wasn't fucking blue and orange and yellow, but it's cute. And I could like decorate the right side of it, like not the right, but like in front of it, with, like a few seasonal things every season. Fun. Jace, you usually put trees and bikes around your museum and a fountain and vending machines in front of it. Okay, so you make it like, kind of like the plaza thing we did. I like that. T, you like it? Okay, and yeah, if we extend the sidewalk, well, shit, let's do it. Let's do it. Yay. I found the custom a custom design on Pinterest yesterday of a blue mat that looks just like this. And it's so cute. And I really want to do it, but I don't have any slots left. My slots are very full. Like, all of our city ones are taken. So this is all of our city codes. And then down here is all of our jungle core codes. And then we have farm core. And then whatever the heck else. And then I even had to steal some of these slots. So I don't have any slots to use, but. This is kind of a sleigh without even having a building. <laughs> I think that means we could put like a construction site somewhere too. That's very city-esque. Put some grocery items in front of it or possibly or crates like fruit baskets and crates yes i could also get like a grocery cart i don't know if i have that item let me see mm, dang i don't do i okay is that what they're called Leptic pink construction site. Unfortunately, most of the items we can't customize to be pink, but, but still, I, I think that we can make it work. Um, grocery cart in the NH, is that what it's called? Oh, it's called the shopping cart. Let me make sure I don't have it. Okay, yeah, I have the shopping bag, but no cart. AKA, another thing on our list for the Treasure Islands. Shopping cart. Ooh, and traffic cones, yas, okay. I should put cards randomly around the city because I see lonely carts on the side of the road all the time. T. Stop giving me so many amazing ideas, but please don't ever stop because that's a really good idea too. I'm gonna get so many shopping carts. I'm gonna get so many shopping carts. You have no idea. You have no idea. Jace, maybe put a truck behind the fence along the cliff to be an unloading dock. Okay, cute cute we could knock this down a little bit okay like we could that's a really good idea you still have a stolen traffic cone leptic just college things t you have a traffic light your dad gave you i'm jealous i'm jealous that is so cool i just want a stop sign I just want a stop sign. I just want to hang it on the wall. I've always wanted one. Like, since I was a teenager. Traffic lights get replaced and left on the road a lot. Um, Leptic, we need to go drive around. <laughs> That'd be so cool. <laughs> like, 
Do you think we could like wire it to where it would like actually like light up and stuff too? That'd be so cool. Bunch of cardboard box items next to nooks for all the shipments. Yes. What I'm thinking, what I'm thinking. We can definitely put stuff on the right, like right here. We can put stuff on the left side either. Oh, let's interrupt them, guys. Let's see what they're talking about. Henry. Hey there, Megan. Hey, Henry was just teaching me his ways. You know how to be totally cool. All right, back to it. Now, the first thing we've got to work on is your overall look. What are you trying to say with this ensemble? It's not screaming. I'm a confident and awesome dude. I'd say you should start with the tightest and most expensive sweater you can fit over your head and then cut like five or six holes in it. It shows that you're down to earth. Cut holes in sweaters. Ooh, I've already got one with lots of holes in it. What's next? <laughs> Let's focus on your personality. You want to be warm and friendly with occasional savage outbursts. Yes. Uh, yes, Henry, with the good advice. That makes you unpredictable, and being unpredictable makes you cool. Savage, unpredictable, cold. Ah, so that's what the sweater's for. It's what's it? Henry's like really going on. Do you have any snacks? That's actually pretty cool. What the hell was that? I'm so sorry. I just got so distracted. That was great. T, you have quite a few borrowed traffic signs and fight and lights. I love it. <laughs> An abandoned grocery cart on the beach for funsies and tire tracks behind it. Mood. Mood. I think that we should because I do have I have this custom design for farm core that I think will blend in on the beach. Should we find out real quick? I don't have I don't even have the shopping carts yet, but like <laughs> let's find out. Oh, I forgot I have these extra stalls. Duh. What am I doing with my life? Okay, that could totally work. Done. We'll definitely get shopping carts. Um, but yes, definitely gonna get too many grocery carts. Um, lots of different boxes, like Jay said like all the shipments like a loading area um a hundred percent i have a lot of items to get because like i have a lot of boxes but i don't think i have enough i don't think i have enough i'm excited i'm excited this is gonna be a dope city okay this is gonna be a really really cool city i'm like i'm hyped i'm hyped I do have an idea for over here. So this peninsula, I was hoping would be, I, you know, I, I would kind of prefer on a different theme, on like a different section of the island, but our peninsula, we're actually going to make into a drive-in theater. And I'm, I'm really excited. I don't know how people would get in and out and it's very unrealistic, but I think we're going to make it a drive-in theater. Um, somewhere on this section of the island, we will have it. And I think it'll be here. And it could possibly be on the rocks, but that's for another day. I'm not too sure yet. I'm not too sure. Yes, Lori, we are going to have one. It's going to be great. <laughs> Your brain is too full of fun little ideas to be wasted on a singular theme. Just do what I'm doing. Do, do multiple, do multiple. This has been like my favorite idea I've ever had and I can't wait to like do all of these. Um, and I love that we have them split up by water and I think it's gonna make it very, very cool. Eventually we need to move all the houses and all the different buildings, but we're, we're getting there. You will dress kawaii core and listen to death metal and nothing will ever stop you. Yes. Yes. Have variety in your life. Keep it interesting. Keep it spicy. Keep it you. Keep it you. Guys, I gotta say, I gotta say, I love it. That's just baby metal. 
I gotta say, today has been so much freaking fun. We got done way more than I uh, expected. Um, I'm really happy with the progress so far. Like, it has gone very, very well. Um, and I'm so pumped to finish this section or just to keep working on it. It's going to take a while. It's going to take a while. Um, but we will be back here Friday to play some more Coral Island and hopefully get our lives together in that game because it's like, uh, that game is so stressful with all the updates that came out, but we're going to see if we can make it work. And if it does not, we will switch back over to Animal Crossing. I don't even care. I don't even care. Okay, we will change that title and we will switch right over. So thank you guys for hanging out today. Um, T, it was so much fun chatting with you. Jace, you as well. Leptic, thanks for chiming in, um, you know, to to call me out and share my secrets. Um, Zane and Brady, I hope y'all are having an amazing day. And Lori, thank you for being here too. And everyone else that stopped in just to say hi, just to to lurk, just to hang out. It means a lot. Um, I'm currently six followers away from hitting affiliate on Twitch, which is like nuts. I'm so excited. Um, get to actually like make a little bit of money doing what I uh, have started to love so much. So I'm really excited about that possibility. And I hope that they I hope that we get there soon. I think it'll happen. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Thank y'all so much. I hope y'all have a just freaking fantastic day. Um, I'm going to go eat some lunch, kind of hang out a little bit. Try not to take a nap because I woke up way too early today. Um, but y'all have a great, great day. And I'll see you Friday, okay? Let's go. All right, guys. See you next time. Bye.